Bye, guys. Hi, Spartan. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. I saw you fall the other day. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? If you got any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Hello. I'm also trying a different audio split today. So, VOD watchers, I'm figuring it out. Somebody got auto modded. Okay. Omega Dense. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to review the VOD, but it's not letting me watch it. Weird. Oh, you know why? It's because I didn't mute this. Oh. Okay, if there was doubled audio for the music, I'm sorry. Um. I'm a new streamer. <laughs> Should be fine, though. Thanks for clocking in. Get your hours in. Okay, I'm trying to see. Because I, I tried a different audio split. Because I wanted to be able to play music today, but then also listen to, like, the chest noises. But I can't watch back the VOD. Grr, Twitch. Okay, let me see if I can watch it back on desktop. Wait, I can't click on my videos tabs. What the frick? Oh, there it is. Okay. Fast broadcast? Okay, I'm stopping the music for a second. I'm gonna see if this worked. <gasps> it worked! Wait, wait, wait. It worked! I fixed it! Okay. No more double audio? Music back on. Okay, I figured out. Guys, three to one. Ain't no one. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 11.07. I'm live. Late, but that's because it took me a bit to get set up today. Hello. Welcome, it's Martin. Hello. Um. Sorry for the delay. But now, I have 
actually figured out how to split my audio properly so we can listen to like copyright music now like for real for real on god on god also thank you for the follow thank you can we get some yo's hello i almost forgive you what did i do oh, oh i said sorry for the day i'm sorry call me officer i'm sorry i just want you guys to have like good shit oh wait spartan it should be an emote peace i2 capital y yo wait no i put peace in yo but yo and shit whenever there's a new guy okay so addressing the controversy the drama i've been gone the past few days i'm sorry i didn't have heat stroke but i think i got really close on sunday <laughs> so um awkward so on saturday we painted the painting for mac it's back here but mac's version is across my room and then Sunday, my sister wanted me to go with her to her friend's house because, like, her friend got a new place. So we're going to, like, look at it. But my sister, she had the wrong address somehow. Clueless. So she and I had to spend, like, 20, 30 minutes walking in the blazing heat just to go to the wrong freaking place. And then we got back on track. We had to run to catch the bus to go in the correct direction. And I think it, like, broke my body. <laughs> Stupid medicine! The last day I'll be on my blood thinners is Friday, so W for me. So anyway, I woke up Monday, like, feeling like shit. Like, I couldn't walk, I couldn't get up from my bed. I tried to, like, sit at my computer, but I was like this. Like, falling over. So I rested Monday, I watched videos, I stayed in bed. And then yesterday, I edited, and I feel great today. Also... I've been watching a lot of, like, old Northern Lion videos and stuff. So, I started playing Super Auto Pets yesterday. I didn't know it's a free-to-play game. And I have pictures on my Twitch story. Uh, click my PFP and you can see it if you're watching on mobile. But I was playing off and on throughout the day. And I got a dummy. I got the dead trophy run. I was so happy. It took me, like, I think three hours off and on. So, like, I'm really proud of myself. I'm honestly, like, I thought I wouldn't like it. But, like, I'm kind of addicted. Like, a little bit. A teeny bit. Yeah, so that was the past few days. Any Anything else? Any yip yapping to do? I think that is all. There's no other drama. No other news. Besides? Jet. Saturday, July 20th is International Chess Day. So for the rest of this week, we're going we're gonna to be playing chess. I played a little bit of chess back in high school, and by that I mean I went to the weekly chess club after school. But that's only because my friends who weren't actually my friends went to it. The magic nerds. So, I, I never learned how to play. <laughs> so today, we're going to spend all of today learning how to actually play the game. I'm going to be watching the tutorials on chess.com, hashtag not sponsored. It just seemed like a really good free resource. And then, at the end of the day, I will do one game applying what I've learned. So, guys, get your notepads, your pens. I held up the wrong thing, didn't I? <laughs> so, get your notepad, get your pens out. There will be a quiz at the end. Just kidding, there's no quiz. Can you castle? I don't know what castling means. I'll be honest. To be frank. Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, Ethan, I promise, I promise we'll beat Peace Lock next week. Just kidding. Also, VOD Watchers, I touched on this at the start of the stream. I have a new audio setting. So from this point on, no more music and VODs, because they keep on getting fucking copywritten on YouTube, even if it's silly game music. So, Vod Watchers, you should not hear the Nintendo music right now. It is, what is it called? It's like slap music. Me Maker Nintendo 3DS. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, before we get started, a message from today's sponsor. Peace and art are sh my <laughs> Peace and art are my shopify.com, guys. Click the link in chat. Go bookmark my website. Click the link. New piece is coming soon. I'm working on carving stems and finalizing designs. I also rearranged my top menu bar. So there's a shop sec a shop section and then a separate gallery section. Because I didn't like how I had the collections under the shop. So it it'll be a lot more segmented because 
um, now. Or I'm going to be launching sketch cards and then smaller paper pieces soon. So I didn't want to have everything under the shop tab. So everything will be sec sorted properly. I promise. I can hear it and I'm watching the VOD. You're lying. No, I literally fixed it earlier. If you're lying, I'm not even fucking kidding. I'm banning you for a day, Ethan. I'm not kidding. You're gonna be in big trouble if you're lying. Lying? How do I... Do I have a rule that says no lying in the chat room? <laughs> no! Man, no, I would never do that. You get 10 seconds. I'll give you 10 seconds because you admitted immediately before I had to open a new tab and open my stream. Okay. Uh, guys, um, check out the website now. Click the link. Lying is a sin? <laughs> Dude, Spartan is spitting. Oops. <laughs> okay, I didn't link anything. I forgot I was on the wrong scene. Oh my goodness. Okay. Should we get started? Guys, get your notepads out. We're learning how to play chess today. I feel like I'm talking so loud. I don't like wearing headphones on stream because I just talk louder because I can't. I like hearing myself talk. I'm a narcissist. How can I be watching the VOD when you're live? No, you can do it. Um, If I don't unpublish it, then people can go back and like catch up if they were like 10 minutes late or something. I know that's what I do. But I really wish Twitch had a player like YouTube did. The YouTube stream player is so not much nicer. Okay. Stop the music. We'll listen to more later. Okay, let's see if I did this correctly. My cursor's gone. Wait, actually, where the fuck is my cursor? Wait, what the hell? Wait, my cursor's gone! Wait, okay, sorry. <laughs> Whenever I switch tabs, my cursor disappears sometimes. I got scared. You should listen to Anaconda. You know, I don't listen to that song. I just watch the video on repeat. Anyway. Okay, so... Today I'm gonna be... So I made a chess account. Also, I banned friend requests, so nobody tried to, like, become friends with me. In-game or in real life. So, to start off, I know that I'm not sponsored or anything, but they have, like, bots you can face. You can do online matches with your friends or the randos. But today we're going to be doing the lessons. I also got the free trial, W, so we should have no ads. Um, I might play with viewers tomorrow, though. Smile. So if we go to the hamburger menu, learn, and then lessons. <clears throat> we can look at the... And they're all videos, and I think they are, like, interactive games, too. Everything you need to know about chess. These lessons will help you master all the fundamental concepts in chess and will boost your rating by hundreds of points. You'll be, to, you'll be able to easily beat your friends who don't know these key strategies. Wait. Before we actually learn, I think I should play a game. Just to, like, see where I'm at. You know, I haven't... I legit haven't played chess since high school and I graduated... Seven years ago? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see where I'm at. Um, you can choose a robot to face. How do I... Wait, I don't want to play Mark Rober. Wait, how do I quit? Resign. No game. Okay, I did it. I think it's because I was testing audio earlier. You guys can hear the little click clicks of the chess pieces, right? That's crazy. You look young as frick. How old do I look? Be honest. I've had people ask if I'm like 18. I'm like, nah. Nah. You know, it's just my skincare. Okay, should I do beginner? <laughs> um. Okay, we, we have to choose a bot that will play at the end of stream today. Should I do a beginner? Adaptive? No, that's cheating. You look 18 going on 43? No, the movie's called 18 going on 30. Get it right. I love that movie. Let's choose a beginner bot. Purple hair. Play versus Malika. Malika recently beat her dad at chess for the first time. Can you do any better than her dad did? Okay. 
First time playing chess in years? Do you think I will win? Do you think I will win? Hello? Can I call you Tooth? What do you want me to call you? Welcome in. Isn't Blackish a comedy show? But hello! If you got any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Tooth? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say, like, the color all the time. <laughs> I haven't gone on chess.com in a long time, but they've improved a lot. I know, right? Wait, am I timed? Oh, okay, it's, it's, okay. it's not a timed game. Okay, guys, go Gamba. Do you think I will win? Let's put this. Also, there's no music for now. I'll play music later. I've gotten that a lot. You know, at least you're self-aware. Okay, the my opener, my opening move. I've watched Ludwig. I've watched Tyler One play chess, and I don't know anything. No, no, wait, no, I'm scared. I don't know. Okay, I know what moves the pieces do, but I don't know any strats yet. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, they moved so quickly, I got scared. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, am I in check? No, let's not check. No, wait, I am in check. That's my king. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't tell the difference between the king and the queen. The queen is like a larger crown. Uh... No, it's not over yet. It's not over, guys. It's not over yet. See, you got scared by little pawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, am I kind of slaying right now? Oh! <laughs> so, okay, a huge problem I had when I play like back in high school, like the three games that I did, is I'm too focused on myself and not the other player, which I know is like really stupid. But I I'm just not good at games like this. I am really good at super auto pets though. Wait, I'm in check again. There's like no indicator that I'm on check. I don't understand. Wait, my rank is 400. Um... There's no trade I could have done there. Wait, no backseat gaming. No backseat gaming. I also don't know, like... Oops. <laughs> like, what the positions are. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what do I do? Do I have to sack? I might have to sack my queen already. Um... It's Jober. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, I'm throwing. <laughs> uh. I know there's like letters and numbers on the chessboard. Guys, today's going to be pain. It's going to be pain. Wait, do we want to listen to music? I'll put music on. I think. Let's do Nintendo elevator music. Ah, uh, that's nice. Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> Donatella by Lady Gaga. <laughs> we'll do a stream where we listen to like all the beeps and boops. But today I need I need songs without words. Okay, I need I need to lock in right now.
Thank God this match isn't timed. Um, editor, please cut out all the times that I've failed. I genuinely don't know, like, what the fuck to do. It's just a trap. Smash cut to like Saturday where I'm a pro, please. I could be your editor if you wanted. Um, if you want to make fan edits, go for it. Wrong command. But like, I I can't afford an editor right now. But like, if you want to edit for fun, there's a link to fill out. <clears throat> I bet. Okay. Let's see. What? Okay. Anytime that I say, what should I do, don't answer. I, I say that because, like, I'm vocalizing what I'm thinking. I just realized I was white pawn, so, like, I had the advantage here. This could be kind of a crazy move right here. Setting up to steal the queen. Oh, they ran away. What a little bitch. Why are they moving their king so much? Is that, like, normal? I want to take out the knight. I don't- oh, wait. <laughs> Omega oh, dead so bad. Wait, I'm looking at the prediction. 56% yes. Thank you, believers. Shut up, don't put that on the chat. I'm a W streamer. Vote peace and for hidden gem for 2024 stream awards. I kind of want to take this guy out, see what happens. Wait, no, not the- WHAT THE FUCK?! Not the sad song. Wait, no! Wait, 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 What are they doing?! Why- Okay, you can see my cursor. Why did they put the queen right by the pawn? Or whatever this guy is called. I don't- Okay, I know what they look like. I don't know what they're called. I just bought a chessboard last week. Wait, wait, why are they doing this? This- it's a trap! I'm doing it! Wait, what? No! I- no! <laughs> the pawn is correct! Oh, okay. Thank you. There will be a quiz at the end of stream. Wait, why did they do that? I- I think they're just- Maybe they want to play, like, an even game, because they, they did take my queen. I'm taking too long on this, so I'm now realizing. Uh. Oh, I gotta push up now. They're memeing? Oh, wait, this girl did say she just won against her dad.
I could hit here. No, I, I was going to say maybe I can move this guy here. Up one. Next turn, go up. But then the pawn, the pawn would just kill me. I think I need to get these guys moving. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Whoa! I got one! Fuck! <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad! I'm not even, like, throwing on purpose. I'm just not looking at the board. I play Mario Kart, not chess. Also, I feel like my face is really red. I think it's my color correction. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna lower my saturation. I look too red. There we go. See, I'm not fuming mad anymore. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what intonation do I do now? No, that's stupid. The queen won't go forward because then this guy will kill. You know what? Gambit. Okay, they didn't they didn't kill the tower guy. I like your nails, thank you. I did um on Sunday. It's like a purpley black hollow taco. It has a rainbow chrome. It doesn't show on camera, but it goes crazy. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay, I have to win. I, I think I kind of stun lock myself. I'm just gonna go left and right. Ah! What the fuck? I'm swearing too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What in darnation? Okay, this guy has to kill. There's no other setup there. Wait, all my soldiers are dying. Um, You're going back downstairs, sir. Wait, I just realized this piece is the king, not the queen. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. I think I got it. I move this guy up here. That way, the king has to kill it. Oh, but then it runs away. I Wait, I thought, I thought that would have been a checkmate. <laughs> Also, guys, we're 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. We already got one follower today. Can we hit our daily goal of four? Can we do it? Thank you for redeeming, Spartan. We'll do that at the end of stream. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, guys, be honest. Type one if you think I can still win this. You can be completely honest. Watch this. I need to move that way. I'm kind of scared. Ain't no way. Thank you for the resub, Alex. Seven months? Can we get some Alexes in chat? Thank you, man. Tier one. Let's freaking go. Trust in thyself. Thank you. I will. I honestly, I, I, I think I can do this. I think I can. Just sacrifice all the pieces except for the king and stay alive for 50 moves. You think I got that endurance? I don't. Okay. Ah. 
I think I honestly... No, wait. No, no, no. I was going to say, I can move this guy up and then just keep pushing. But then that guy would kill. No. I, th I think I'm kind of stunlocked. Realistically... I think the only thing I can do to, like, self-preserve myself is kill this guy. And then... Do that. And then what? That's probably for the best, I agree. Also, don't- don't tell me what to do when I'm still learning. My only concern is this little guy in the far left. Because if the pawns get all the way to the end, they become a queen, right? Or is that house rules? Okay, I'm deleting that because I don't want any bad words on screen. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> Wait, that was dumbass, not a long term. Dumb ass. It's not a block term. Clueless Rook, it's owned by Peace and underscore 17. <laughs> okay, this match is like over the five minute game limit, I think, but it's fine, I'm learning. Boys, the plan is simple. I go here. Wait! I have an idea, I have an idea. Tengo una idea. Okay. I move this guy to here. That way, either the king has to move or kill. It would have to move. It can only move down or up. Check. Move this guy up. Wait, no, I'm scared. I'm scared. No. I'm gonna give me a queen, too. Wait, I didn't... Fuck. <laughs> okay, I forgot about that possibility. Err... No, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm doing it. Really good move, thank you. I'm a gamer. Wait, no, they're gonna become a queen! <clears throat> Is it my turn? I missed it. Oh, well. Monka. Um...
I don't know how to set this up. Oh wait, I can just get another queen. Oh wait, should I think I should make it a queen immediately, right? Because the plan is to keep the king trapped in the far right corner. Wait, why can't I? Wait, what? Oh yeah, I'm in check. No wonder I couldn't move, Lamau. Oh wait, I'm kind of cooked then, right? I'm not in check. Ooh, I'll take a queen. No, I'm so stupid! The only thing I could do. I don't know if you can see it. My left eyebrow is twitching like crazy right now. My hand is shaking. Wait, I, I think I kind of trapped myself there. Who do I want to lose? Diagonal player or straight player? I do have LGBTQI tagged. I should get rid of the straight one. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's nothing good I can do here. What? Wait, 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 wait. Why'd they do that? Okay, if I move this guy, kill him. Then the king would have to move. Either diagonal or left. Oh. Okay, it was, it was gonna kill one of them. Wait, I can maybe salvage this. And then get another queen, possibly. Wait. Oh. Now it's stuck. <laughs> uh. I'm learning. Oh, that's a check. I should have moved to the left. Oh, 
Okay, I'm I'm gonna try and take out this middle pawn. There's no benefit to me doing it. I just want to kill. I want blood. Oh wait, but then if I do that, then the king is forced to move. It can't move the queen. Wait, you can't kill? What? Am I in check? I'm not. Oh wait, I am. It's a diagonal. <laughs> Uh. Dude, stop it! Let me live! I want blood. Monka. Um... I should go diagonal here. You're such a jerk! They're trapping me now. I can kill the queen, but then the king will kill it. And then there's no way I win. I have to backtrack, I think. Wait, no, what's Oh, I went to go up one more square. Fuck! <laughs> Well, that was a misclick, guys. It might be over. <laughs> it, it might be over. They're baiting me. It knows I'm gonna try and kill it. But then the pawn will kill me. And how pitiful would that be? Imagine. Only move I can do. Oh yeah, I can't go that way.
I feel like I should get out of here. Can you just, like, kill me already? I don't want to play anymore. Bozo. If I kill that pawn, the queen will kill me. Please, just leave. I want some blood. Let me do it. This game has been like 30 minutes. <laughs> that can't be a free kill. I can't. No, 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 no. It's too easy. It's a trap. Mind check. I don't, I don't think there's any way for me to kill the queen, honestly. There's, like, no way. Ooh, they're moving the king now. They're scared. Asshole. Why isn't it moving the pawn? It can get two queens, queens and then it's over. <laughs> okay, there's like no way I win. Genuinely no way I win. Also, I'm not realizing little circles show up to where you can move. I didn't know that at the beginning. They're pushing me in the corner. There's gotta be a way for me to win this if the game is still, like, going on. Jackass. We're just gonna dance around the bishop, huh? Let me just, let me just, let me get at him! They'll get scared and forfeit. It's a robot! It's a robot! They can't feel feelings! You know, I'll be honest, I've lived I've lived longer than I thought I would. Imagine I lose right here.
Well, that was my first game in seven years, guys. What did I learn? Nothing. Let's see, did I win? No, I'm sorry if you believed. You gotta be like DOM to think I could have won that. Okay, so now that we've seen my skill level, let's learn a little bit. Do I have click commands? I don't. But whoever makes the best in most clips gets a gift card and VIP. Wait, wrong, wrong command. I don't. I thought about enabling like clip commands, but then more often than not, it, like it's a shitty clip. Like it doesn't, like it cuts off mid sentence. So I'd rather people manually make clips, but. Oh well. How did you last that long? I'll be honest, I was just like stalling between turns. Like I was genuinely thinking near like late game. But you know. Now, let's learn! Get your notepads out. We're learning, guys. Do SpongeBob SquarePants truth or square on the Wii U? Is that a game? Wait, maybe we can play that for Wii Week in January. I got some banger games lined up. On mobile, clipping is bad. I know, for real. It's so ass. What I used to do is, even if I was watching a stream, I would write down the timestamp and then make a clip when I got home on my computer. Dude, I'm such a Twitch chatter sometimes. Okay, Spongebob, Truth, or Dare. Or squ No, I don't want to play Truth or Dare. It is a real game. What? $35? Guys, can we get seven subs right now? Is it a Truth or Dare game? Or is it just like a platformer? What is it? Oh, it's, the it's like a platformer one, right? Oh, I saw one for $13. I played it when I was nine. I didn't play any of the SpongeBob games. Okay. Now, guys, let's do a little bit of learning. How to move the pieces. Chess is one of the oldest and most recognized games in the world. It is an exciting game of strategy and planning, which is why it is seen as a symbol of intelligence. However, chess is easy to learn and can be enjoyed by anyone at any level. Chess is played on an I didn't enjoy board my time playing. 64 squares and 32 pieces, and the game is all about checkmating the king. Once the king is in checkmate, which we'll explain later, then the game is over. So to start, let's meet the king. Even though the king is the most important piece in chess, it isn't the most powerful. Yeah, it's the like king can only weak. move one square at a time in any direction. Wait, is this an allegory for politics? Because even the president is cool and all, but he has no power compared to the cabinet? Here are the squares where the white king can curl. <laughs> this is like Elden Ring, but you did. <laughs> move. Here's one move. Now the king could move here. Oh my and god! another king move. Ain't no way. In chess, both players have identical sets of pieces. He's playing DDR right now. You have a king, and so does your opponent. Each player will take turns making a move until the game is over. There's like no way you can win if there's two kings on the board, right? It would just be now like Now that you've learned how draw. the king moves, it's your turn to practice moving the king. Oh my god, my turn? Ain't no way. Chess is one of the old- Oh wait, what? I don't get to play? What is this? Oh, start challenges, okay. Wait, what? Why does it say X? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, those were all legal moves, though. Oh. Okay. Can you move the king straight up one square to get closer to the corner? Oh, wait, it told me what to do below. I just didn't scroll down. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Now I get it. The king is ready to move to the top left corner square. Can you move the king straight up to reach the square? Okay, now that the video's done, we can put music back on for now. 
Move the king straight up to reach the square. Oh my god, I did it! The king wants to move into the center of the board. Can you move the king up one square diagonally to the right? Okay, this is like baby mode. I'm not like stupid. I took AP calculus in high school. The king wants to move to another center square. This time you can move the king to the side one square to the right. Oh my god! The king wants to move to the corner square it is touching. They're testing you? Oh my god, good job! I did it! Okay, next listen. The king might be the most important piece in chess, but the queen is by far the most powerful. Like the king, Delay. the queen can move in any direction. Forward, backward, to the sides, as well as diagonally. Unlike the king, the queen can move as far as she wants in any direction. The one thing the queen can't do... The old ball and chain, am I right, guys? Pound it! ...is jump over other pieces. Let's look at some queen moves. In this position, the queen could go all the way up the diagonal. She could slide all the way across the board. She could now move all the way down here. Or she could make some shorter moves, like here, here, and here's another queen move. Earlier, we mentioned that the queen cannot jump over other pieces. In this position, let's say the queen wants to get to this square. Notice that the king is currently in the way of the queen. So the queen would have to move to another square first, and only then, on the next turn, could the queen move here. Now that you've learned how the queen moves, it's your turn to practice moving the queen. Okay, I got this, guys. I got it. The queen wants to travel all the way to the top of the board in a single move. Yup. Yes, yeah, Slay is an emote. If you're watching on desktop, you can type it, or if you're watching on mobile, you can see on the screen here. You know what else some of you guys may see? An ad. Because, guys, we're an hour into stream, so... It's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee. I know. $5.99, just $6. L Twitch for bumping the price up. But you get more emotes. I added new emotes two weeks ago. So subscribe right now, and I'll tell you thank you. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Man, Nintendo music is so good. You know what? I'll say it, Twitch staff, if you're listening, which I know you are watching the stream because I know you guys love the peace and broadcast. It's such bullshit how affiliates could not get a gold kappa train. I would pog out of my mind if we had a gold kappa train. But it's only for partnered streamers. They really hate the little guys, don't they? Is Spirited Away good? I used to be so scared of that movie. But then I watched it, I think, six months ago as an adult, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just threw up, eat some bread, bananas, and have a bowl next to your bed. But I hope you rest up today. Okay, Spartan? Just, just please don't, like, throw up on your phone. That would not be cool. Spirited Away is scary. Yeah, like, some of the, some of the creatures are, like, scary. Thanks, that's good advice, yeah. Also, like, if you have somebody home with you, like, later, you, if you, like, gently, like, press on your abdomen, if you get sore, it, it could help a little bit, too. But d don't press too hard. <laughs> you know, you know, okay, you know how they have those stim squishy toys? Where, like, you squeeze it, and then, like, it pops out of your hand, and then it slurps back in? <laughs> okay. Back to chess, guys. <laughs> now the queen wants to move sideways to the right, visiting the corner of the board in a single move. Yup. I didn't realize that you actually threw up at first. I thought it was a joke about peace and skills. How do we ban Ethan mods? Can we ban him finally? The queen wants to slide down the diagonal and reach the lower left-hand corner of the board in a single move. Wait, I know how to do this. Ain't no way. 
The queen is so cool. The queen wants to move straight up the board and reach the top left-hand corner square. But the white king's in the way. Can you find a queen move where it can reach its goal in the following turn? Wait, where does it want to go? Straight up the board to re reach the top left-hand corner. Wait, what the fuck? Excellent job. The queen can now move to the left-hand corner square in the next turn. Can you find another square for the queen that does the same thing? Oh, it, right here, bottom right. And then we travel up. Wait, guys, no flirting in the chat room. We already have one couple. <laughs> the queen is ready to climb the diagonal to reach the top. Ooh, I can do it. Yay. Yeah, two out of eight. Next lesson. After the queen, the rook is the second most powerful piece. It can move up, down, and to the sides as far as it wants, but the, okay, rook, the rook can only can move never in its straight name. lines. Like the other pieces we've looked at so far, the rook, the rook is homophobic. also can't jump over any other piece. Let's take a look at some rook moves. In this position, the rook could move straight up. It could slide to the corner. It could move all the way down the board. Now it could swing to the other side. Or it could make some shorter moves, like here and here. Now that you've learned how the rook moves, it's your turn to practice moving the rook. <laughs> yeah, I don't want any infidelity in the chat room either. What was I supposed to say? I like you better than my boyfriend? Uh, no, I don't think you'd want that screenshot and send to your boyfriend, I'll be honest. <laughs> the rook wants to travel up and reach the other side of the board in just one move. Watch this. Yup! Man, this makes me feel so good. I do not want to learn the harder stuff. The rook would like to visit one of the four corner squares on the chessboard. This one. Yup! Both rooks want to move sideways to the right all the way to the other side of the board. Which rook can reach the other side in a single move? Not the one on 5A because the king's in the way, but 3A can. Yep. Sorry, I got an email. You guys know how I had to have MRIs done like fucking four months ago? They've only just now processed it. Both rooks want to reach the top of the board, but only one can do it right away. How can you do it? Uh, this one. <laughs> business woman? Yeah, I do actually have a business, guys. Exclamation point art and chat. The rook in the lower right-hand corner is blocked by its own pieces. No! The rook wants to move along the first rank. Can you move another piece up to open the rook's path? Uh, this one. Wait, what? Oh, wait, does rank mean the, the rows? This one. Oh! Okay, I got it, I got it. I don't know what rank means. Whenever I hear rank, I just assume Valorant. Next lesson. The bishop is one of the most interesting pieces in chess because it can move as far as it wants, but only on diagonals. The bishop, just like the other pieces that we've met so far, cannot jump over other pieces. This means that the bishop has to stay on the same colored square it starts the game on for the entire game. In chess, you get two bishops. This bishop is called the light squared bishop because it can only travel on the light squares. Meet the other bishop that you have in the game, the dark squared bishop. It moves Evil exactly bishop. like the light squared bishop, but only on the dark squared diagonals. Now that you've met both bishops, let's take a look at how they move. 
With just one move, the dark squared bishop can enter the longest dark squared diagonal on the board. Let's do the same with the light squared bishop. Now, notice no matter how many bishop moves we make, the bishops never cross paths. They never block each other. And the reason why is because they're on opposite colored squares, so they never interfere with each other. They make a good team. Now that you've learned how the bishops move, it's your turn to practice moving the bishops. No, it's not bad for me to say that. It's just dark is evil. Like, not skin tone. Come on. The bishop wants to move to the other side of the board in a single move. Watch this. Yup. Okay, this, this list, can I just... I know what the moves can do. Can I skip this? The bishop wants to be in the longest left at... The bishop wants to be in the longest light diagonal on the whole board. The one that goes from the top left to bottom right. How can it get there? Longest light diagonal. Yeah. Cross... Is it the Z or Y axis? The dark squared bishop is in the center of the board. Can you move the light squared bishop to the square directly to the right of it and have both bishops on the center? Watch this. Yup. The bishop wants to travel to the other side and reach to the top of the board in just two moves. Can you find the way? Do you know the way? It's 2D, so only X and Y. Oh yeah, I took AP Calc, I should know that. Yay, I did it! Halfway there. The knight is perhaps the most fun piece in chess. It is the only piece in chess that does not move in some sort of straight line. I'll say it, knight is lame. It moves in a strange L shape. The other interesting thing about the knight is it's the only piece in chess that can jump over other pieces, like this. It takes a little practice to understand exactly how the knight moves. It goes two squares in one direction and then one square to the side, like this. Highlighted are all the possible squares Wait, the knight can cool move pattern. to on the next also, turn. Hi, Emmy. Notice it always moves in the same pattern. Can we get some yo's? Hi. Two to the side and over one, like this. The L shape will be your signature. Or like this. Up two and over one. You know, that's such like a basic joke. Or down joke. two and over one. You should go back to the writer's And room. notice that the knight moves from a light square to a dark square. And then on the next turn, it moves from a dark square to a light square. Wait, I didn't realize that. The knight that. always switches colors with each turn it makes. Now that you've learned how the knight moves, it's your turn to practice moving this fun and tricky piece. Wait, that's kind of crazy. The knight is playing both sides. Guys, who excited? Who is excited for Chess Week 2024? Type 1. This is the Riders Room. You workshop it. Yeah, I do feel like some of my chatters like, do test our stand-up jokes here. But you know what? I give feedback every time for free. The knight wants to reach at the top of the chessboard in a single move. Can you find the move? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so easy. Knights love to be in the corner of the action. Move the knight into the center of the board. Yup. White has one knight in the center of the board. Move the other knight into the center. Most of the knight's squares are blocked by pieces. Can you find a forward move to bring the knight into the center of the action? This is low-key too easy. Okay, we're gonna do all the lessons. There's beginner, intermediate, and expert. You think I should go straight to expert? No, I shouldn't. We're doing the easy shit first, and then we'll get harder. I'm streaming all day. Oh, wait, no, my camera's gone. Um, I'll fix it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. 
You see, this is what happens when you guys talk shit. My camera, like, listens, and then it protests. Do, 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 do. I also rearranged my OBS scenes, and I kind of hate it. Okay, I fixed it. When am I going to get a PS5? My sister has one. She did say I could use it for stream, but, like, I don't want to play 2K on my stream. I don't want gamers. A lot of my audience is, like, men, and then also gay men, so... We need more girlies. That's why I play... What are girl games? <laughs> My sister has been playing all of the old Call of Duty games because my my roommate has all the consoles and stuff, right? And anytime I like walk into the room, I'm like, why are you playing this stupid boy game? And she gets so mad. <laughs> She's like, it's not a boy game. I'm like, but it has guns. <laughs> okay, find the square for the night that would be able to reach all four of black pieces at once. Wait, what? Yeah, it'd be this one. Yep. Oh, you know why I didn't play any Spongebob games on stream? It's because they get copywritten. Like, the music. It always gets copywritten. Call of Duty is stupid even for a boy game? Whoa! Chat, get him! Get him! Next lesson. The pawn sounds like it is the humblest of chess pieces but it is really one of the most powerful. When working together, pawns are the soul of chess. Pawns have a few strange rules, so make sure to pay attention. Pawns can only move straight forward, and they can only move one square at a time. However, if it is their first move of the game, they can choose to move two squares forward if there is nobody blocking them, as pawns cannot jump over other pieces. Remember, the pawn can choose to advance one or two squares only on the first move. On all other moves, the pawn advances one square. Pawns are also the only piece in chess that cannot move backwards. One other thing that makes them strange is that while they can only move straight forward, pawns can- Whoa, strange is like such a mean word to say. That's not very nice. Only capture diagonally. And they can only capture one square away diagonally, even if it is their first turn. We will explain capturing in one of the next lessons. Let's see some pawn moves. In this position, since this pawn has yet to move in the game, white decides to move it two squares forward. Black, on the other hand, only advances this pawn one square. Remember, even though you can move your pawn two squares on its first move, you're not forced to do so. White now advances the pawn forward, and now both pawns are blocked and cannot move. In this position, how many white pawns can move? If you said one, you're correct. Notice that this pawn is blocked by the black pawn directly in front of it. Remember, pawns cannot move backwards. White now has the option to move this pawn up one square. I'm not bored. I'm just tired because my medicine gives me insomnia. So you know what, Ethan? You're being ableist. Square. Notice this pawn cannot move two squares forward because the black pawn blocks it. Now it's your turn to practice using the pawns. I'm not answering that. Hi, <laughs> Dio Mio. You know what, Spartan? You're gonna keep making jokes like that, and one day you're gonna get in big trouble. I'm just deleting it off the screen. I don't want it on my screen. <laughs> Dude, this is your first stream, and you've gotten two messages deleted and one Autobot. You're going on the naughty list this year, man. Okay, don't- I don't want to see random numbers in the chat room. I know you're going to law school, but you're not a tech bro, so you can't be saying that shit here. <laughs> Dude, let me play chess! White pawn can move one or two squares on its first turn. Play the move that puts the pawn in the center of the board. Yup. White has two pawns, but only one of the pawns can move two squares on the first turn. Uh, this one.
White has three pawns, but two of them are blocked are blocked by black pawns. Play the only move available for white. This one. White pawns may seem small compared to black's two rooks, but you can find a way to attack both in just one move. Uh, this one. <laughs> white's bishop is blocked from all directions. Move a pawn that opens up a diagonal for the bishop. This one. Guys, we're talking about chess, not anything else, right? Remember, your pawns are the only pieces that cannot move backwards. So what happens when they reach the other side of the board? They get a promotion. You must trade your pawn for another piece. It can be a knight, a bishop, a rook, or the powerful queen. It cannot stay a pawn, and it cannot become a king. Also, it does not have- I was just gonna say, why would you not swap for a queen? But it kind of makes sense to swap for, like, a bishop or a rook if you already have another queen. Because I can see if you have two queens on the board, that could be a stalemate. have to be one of the pieces already captured in the game. Every pawn has the potential to be promoted into a queen. You could trade it for another queen and have two queens on the board, which is incredibly powerful. Now, let's practice promoting some pawns. W queen. White has two pawns. Can you promote one of them to the strongest possible piece on the next turn? Uh, yes, sir. Stalemate is for kings only? Oh. Oh, I guess it's a draw, then. I, I use the terms interchangeably, but I guess since we're learning, I can't, like, do that anymore, right? Why does pawn three squares away from promoting, and a pawn that is still on its starting square? What is the white's best pawn move to play to promote quickly? Promote quickly? This one. Yeah, because if you move that guy up one, he's going to be stunlocked. We have a pawn race. Both sides are trying to promote a pawn as fast as they can. Which pawn should white move to win the promotion race? Uh, this one, obviously, because it's two away versus six away. Now let's promote the white pawn into a queen. W. Black's pawn is one move away from promoting. Find white's move that protects the promotion square and saves the game. Wait, it's a king. This one? Wait, no, but it's a queen! How does that save the game? Black promotes the pawn, but the new queen is short-lived. Let's capture and save the game. Oh yeah, because then it would be my turn. Oh, okay. Die. White has two pawns. Which can you promote quickly so that black kings won't capture it? This one. Yep. Are there any cheat codes for chess? You know, I think you should just have, like, your dad or your grandpa in your, in your, um, AirPods. That should work. Now that you know how the chess pieces move, it's time to set up the game. Before you put the pieces on, make sure you turn the chess board so that there's a light square in the bottom right corner. You can remember this as white on the right. <laughs> The easiest way to start placing the pieces is to place all of the pawns on the second rank for each side. In chess, rank is the word for row. Let's put all of the white pawns on one side of the board. I was laughing because it's horrible. 
It's horrible. It's shins. In all of the black pawns on the other side. Now let's put the rooks out in the corners. Let's follow that. I'm up. laughing because it's so funny that like the writers who made the script for these videos like wrote it that way. Like it's so funny. By putting the knights next to the rooks. We'll soon learn that the knights are placed on the B and G files. In chess, file is the word for column. To continue, let's put the bishops next to the knights. And now we're left with the king and the queen. Does it matter where they go? Yes, it does. The queen always goes on the matching square. The white queen goes on the light square, and the black queen goes on the dark square. Notice they should be lined up together. Finally, put the kings on the last empty squares. Now you're ready to play. In chess, each side takes only one turn at a time, and by tradition, white always moves first. Now that the board is set up, it's your turn to practice making moves for both sides. We're going to set up the board by placing all the white pieces on their starting squares. Let's move the white rook back to the corner dark square where it starts the game. Wait, this is just like that one indie game where you're like rearranging everything. A little to the left. Wait, this is so easy. Okay, so white king on white square. That's what I need to remember. Yay! I did it! You've already learned how to move the pieces, and we've mentioned the idea of capturing. Let's talk more about capturing. In chess, when you capture a piece, you simply move your own piece to the same square as your opponent's piece and replace their piece with your own. The captured piece is then removed from the board. That's too fast. You don't fast. stop I'm before the captured piece. You replace it entirely. Let's watch this Wait, queen this capture a pawn. Now let's watch this knight jump over one of its own pieces to capture the queen. Capturing pieces is a critical part of the game. However, you do not have... The captions block the game, and it's really bothering me. ...to capture a piece if you don't want to. That being said, if you can capture more of your opponent's pieces than they capture of yours, it's going to be much easier to win. One question. I want to look at the lessons again. Oh, did I just do playing the game? Oh, okay. Auto goes to the next one. I thought we were still in learning pieces. Okay not have to capture a piece if you don't want to. Oh, bye, Spartan. That being said, if you can capture more of your opponent's pieces than they capture of yours, it's going to be much easier to win. One question about capturing that we haven't answered is, how do you notate a capture? Let's say in this position that you plan on taking the black queen with your queen on b3. A good idea. You would write the piece that will capture it, in this case, the queen. So we use a capital Q. You then write an X, which means captures. And then you write the square where the piece gets captured. So after... This is like some algebra nerd shit. Your queen takes E6, we would write Q, X, E6. Here is one more capturing question. How do we notate a pawn capturing a rook and promoting to a queen at the same time. Okay, it would be P, X, R, A1. Does it sound complicated? Don't worry, it's just one extra step. We start by notating the capture. Remember, we mark a pawn with the file that it is currently on. In this case, the pawn is on the B file. 
Oh, so wait. we would write a lowercase b. <laughs> then we would write captures, which is an x. Oh, you don't see so the lowercase b. Key's name. X, and then the square that we capture, a8. So b x a8. So far, we have b x a8. Since we are promoting to a queen. Wait, but the queen had the q annotation. What? You simply add to the end of your move an equal sign and then write which piece you are promoting the pawn into, which is usually the queen. So putting it all together, we would write b takes a8 equals queen. Now it's your turn to practice capturing pieces. Okay. The annotation is weird, but like, I think I can do it. I thought this was chess, not math. That's what I'm saying. You know what else I'm saying? That guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. We've already gotten one follower. Can we hit our daily goal of five? Can you find a capture for white? Okay, this will be D, X, H, 3. Wait. Okay, so queen, queen is just always cute. Whatever. What can white capture? E, E, X, D3. N, X, D3. Okay, so I guess for a pawn, you don't say P. But for all the other pieces, you do have to say the the starting symbol. I'm guessing it's because there's just one queen. Oh, but no, because knight still has... Wait, knight is with an N, not a K? I don't get this. What? Okay, so NX D3. Knight? Oh, that's so silly. Can you find the one pawn that can capture a piece? Remember, pawns move forward but capture diagonally. This guy. It'll be D. DX N E5. Yo, I got it right! Black's bishop is attacking the rook on a1. How can you capture the bishop? R, X, B, C, 3. Oh, wait, why did I say B, C, 3? I don't know why I said B. Oh, yeah, you don't have to state what piece you're taking, I guess. That's why I said B. In this position, white has several captures, but only one of them is good. Can you find white's best capture? This one, obviously, because you're in check. Oh my god, I'm silver rank now. Yay! I'm gonna check be a is pro. the word that is used when one piece is threatening to capture the other side's king. Check basically means, look out, king in danger. Let's take a look at some examples of playing check. In this position, can you see how white can threaten to capture the black king? That's right. Bishop to f6 check. White's bishop puts the black king in danger of capture, so black must deal with this check. In the next lesson, we will learn the three ways to get out of check. Okay, that's what I need to learn. In this position, black's rook can put white's king into danger. After rook d1, the white king is in check, and white must respond to this attack. Finally, in this position, black's pawn is ready to capture the white knight. Remember, pawns capture one square away diagonally. Can you see how white can escape the pawn's attack and place the black king into check? If you found knight to g6, Oh yeah, here. 
Great job. The knight escapes danger and now puts the black king into check. One final question is how do we notate a check? It is pretty easy. All you do is add a plus to the end of your typical move notation. This means after writing NG6, you add a plus at the end. So it'll look like this, NG6 plus, meaning that black is in check. Okay. Now it's your turn to practice playing check. I got it. So plus means check. White has one check in this position. Find it. Right here. Hell yeah. How can white make a check? N N E six plus. Wait. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Lamel. I don't know why I I miss that. <laughs> Oh no, it would be. I'm sorry, Bionic. I couldn't sleep last night. R. R E 1 plus. E. Can you find the only move that puts the Black King into check? G7 plus? Mm-hmm. It's so weird that, like, Pawn doesn't have a... a character. Like, this is Pawn Erasure. Black's king is surrounded by pieces, but White has a powerful check. Can you find it? Oh, yeah, slide in the middle. B... BC3 plus. Yeah, do, okay, I'm getting the annotations correct now. Black King is hiding behind its pawns. Find the best way to attack with check. N E seven plus. Yeah, okay, I got it. I feel like I'm actually learning now. I'm kind of getting it. Cause like I would watch people play jazz like on stream and stuff, and I never understood the annotations, but now I get it. As we learned in the last lesson, when the king is in check, it must get out of check. You cannot ignore check and play another move you want to play while leaving your king in check. You have to stop the check. Luckily, you have three easy ways to get out of check. The simplest way to get out of check is to move your king to a square where it is no longer in check, like this. Another way to get out of check is to block the check with one of your other pieces. Oftentimes, the best way to get out of check is by capturing the checking piece. Okay, you can't now always do that though, escape. like... I want strats. Check. That wasn't very helpful, I'll be honest. How can White escape the check? K, G, 1? Yeah, that's the only thing you can do. You can only move there. Black Queen once again has white kings in check. R. It would be R, H, 3 equals... No, equals is transform. Plus is capture, I think, right? So, R, H, 3, plus. Oh, no. Capture is X. I forgot. Plus is where... I'm forgetting already. I forgot what plus was. Okay, so R, X, H, 3. R, X, H, 3. 
Can you find the move that blocks Black's check? Yeah, I legit, I don't remember what the plus meant. <laughs> X is capture equals is transform. Oh, plus is check. Oh, wait, you literally typed it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Plus equals check. Okay, okay, okay. Watch this. B, B, D, 2. How can white escape the check? Q, X, Q, H, 4. Oh, I don't have to say Q... Oh, and then I put it into check too. Okay. So that was QXH4 plus. Black's queen is checking the white king. Can you find a way to block the check and deliver a check in a single move? N. NG6 plus. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it. I feel good right now. If a king is in check, and it cannot escape check by moving, blocking, or capturing, then the king is said to be in checkmate. That means you win. Or maybe your opponent won. No. Again, checkmate is the entire goal of chess. It doesn't matter who has captured the most pieces, or how long it has taken, or anything else. If the king is in checkmate, it's game over. Once the king is in checkmate, you don't have to take the king off the board. It's time to shake hands and say, good game. Now it's your turn to checkmate. Black's rook on f7 has trapped the king of the back rank. How can you deliver checkmate? Rook, Rook A1 plus. Oh, wait, hashtag is checkmate. Okay, hashtag YOLO. Black's king is hiding in the corner behind his pawns. Can you find a checkmate to win the game for white? QF8 equals, or hashtag. QF8 hashtag. Black's king is trapped in the corner and cannot move. Can you find a checkmate? B, B8, hashtag. Nope. Oh yeah, because it can capture. One square up, so B, C, 7, hashtag. Nope. K, K, A, 6, hashtag. No, wait, what? You typically look for pieces that are in the same color tile. Oh, okay. I was thinking about this other bishop, but it can't move very much. Is it only one move? You can check with it? If I put it here? 
B E four hashtag. Like, cause if they move there, can get some. They move here. Oh yeah, that is right. Okay, I don't. I was thinking too much in the box. White can deliver checkmate in one move. Can you find it? I can try. Jeez. I got it. Q Q H three hashtag. How can white checkmate? How can white checkmate? <laughs> what? In one move? Check me th what? I know it's gotta be the horse, but Oh yeah, cause the pawn can't kill the horse can't kill, the other pawn can't kill. Oh okay. That was it. Okay. I got it. I was confused. Chess can often be a long game with more than one hundred moves played, but it can also be incredibly short if you want it to be. <laughs> Many people want to know, what are the fastest checkmates? And we are going to show you, but keep in mind, none of these checkmates can be forced. These are only checkmates that you literally have to try to do on purpose because they can be otherwise defended very easily. Let's see the shortest possible checkmate on the board. White plays f3, not a great opening move, already exposing the king on the e1 to h4 diagonal. Black opens with e5. Notice the black queen is already looking at the weakened h4 square, ready to pay the white king a visit. White plays g4, further weakening the e1 to h4 diagonal, and the black queen pounces on the h4 square, <gasps> delivering the fastest checkmate in chess. Notice that the white king cannot move. I'll be honest, I would, I would throw like this. Move? There's no way to block the check, and you can't capture the checking piece, so after two moves, the game is already over. In fact, it's time to start a new game. Let's see that idea again, but this time it will be white delivering the checkmate. After e4, black plays f6, d4, g5. Can you spot the checkmate? That- Okay, the checkmate. Not me trying to bait my friends in middle school with that. <laughs> I mean, I would fall for it, I'll be honest. I'm clueless. Okay, I gotta find the checkmate. Oh wait, that's the king. Oh, I thought the checkmate was for the black player. It's for the white player. It would be queen or q. Q h5 hashtag. That's right. Queen h5. The fastest checkmate for white is in three moves, and the fastest checkmate for black is in just two moves. Let's hope you never find yourself on the wrong side of this checkmate. Now it's your turn to practice the fastest checkmates. Okay, write this down, Chet. I need to write it down, too. I'll be honest. Surely it won't happen to you? Cut to when it does. 
Black pawn moves have weakened the king. Can you find a checkmate for white? Wait, it's the same move right here. QH5 hashtag. It's literally the same thing. White king looks weak. Can you find a winning move for black? Well, it's the same thing, but opposite. Okay. I want Give me something else. Find the one move that saves the game for white. It would have to be... G3. Yeah, that way you take the hit and then the pawn could kill. Can you find the worst move that allows a checkmate on the next turn? Oops. See, I only make good moves here. The worst move? Why not? Why not that? The bishop could get me. Oh, yeah, because then that pawn can't, okay, can't protect. Can you find black's worst possible move? Okay, I know one easy checkmate. There is another kind of mate on the board called stalemate. Stalemate is what happens when your king is not in check, but you also have no other legal move on the board. And when this happens, it's a draw, and nobody wins. You might be absolutely winning your game and about to checkmate the opponent's king, but if you fall- Okay, which bozo earlier said that stalemate is only between kings? On the stalemate, it's a draw. This is best explained with some examples. In this position, with white to move, the game would be a stalemate because white's only piece, the king, does not have any legal squares to move to, and white is not in check. In this position, let's say white plays queen to c2. The queen gets one square closer to the king, but notice black's king is not in check, and black does not have a legal move in this position. The position is a stalemate. Remember, in chess, you're never forced to make an illegal move, so black cannot put the king onto a square where it would be captured. It is a different name. If there's only kings, it's a draw after a set amount of moves. Oh. Okay. In this position, can you find a better move for- The video will probably explain, like, certain circumstances, too, so we'll see. For white, white can actually win the game in just one move after queen b2 checkmate. Remember, your opponent can never be in stalemate if they are in check. In this position, black looks doomed. The king is trapped in the- <laughs> Dude, what happened? Corner. White is ready to deliver checkmate on the next move, and black is down lots of material. However, chess is a game of many opportunities, and even when things look really bad, you might have the chance to save the game, or at least draw. You gotta be a dumbass bitch if you throw when you got this many pieces on the board. Notice that since black's king does not have any legal moves, if Black's queen disappeared from the board, it would be a stalemate if it were Black to move. In this position, can you find a way to make Black's queen disappear and create a stalemate? In one move? No, you can't do it in one move. You can't.
I don't know. If you found queen takes h2 check. Oh, I was supposed to play as the black piece. Great job. White must deal with the check. And the only way to get out of the check is to capture the black queen. Now the only remaining piece is the black king. And since black's king does not have any legal squares, and black is not in check, the game is a stalemate. What a save by black. Let's take a look at this position. If white played the move queen to c7, it's not a very wise move because white, first of all, could have won the game immediately with queen to b7 checkmate, but also queen to c7 traps black's king. But does that mean it's a stalemate? Not in this position because notice black has another piece. Black could play the move h3, allowing white to correct the mistake from the last move and deliver checkmate with queen to b7. Notice if we added another pawn, just this pawn on h3, the position would now be a stalemate with black to move. Now that you've learned about stalemate, remember to stay alert and avoid it when you're winning, and when you're losing, keep your eyes open for the opportunity to save the game with stalemate. So don't be clueless. We'll see how that goes. What can white play to end the game in stalemate? Yeah, it can only go right or down. I don't know. Oh, to capture the queen! Why would they do that? They're so dumb! White looks doomed, but can you find a way to save the game with stalemate? Yeah, I can't move anything here. Is that really it, pawn? Well, the white pawn delivers checks since white kings does not have any legal moves. No matter what black does next, white will save the game with stalemate. How, though? I guess, like, you'd have to, like, it's saying, like, in three turns, it would be a dead end. Because the king really captures the other piece? I don't get the stalemate stuff still. Is the position stalemate, if not, find a legal move for white. Yeah, and then you can become a queen. B7 to promote. Black is trying to promote a G pawn, but white can immediately end the game with a stalemate. How should you do it? Kings can't kill each other, right? It's like if the king can only move into a check. Oh, okay. I still don't get it. Oh, wait, wait. Bishop? Bishop F3. Because then... Pawn can't do nothing. 
And if I take that pawn with the bishop, then the king would have to move. But either way, the king moves, he dies. Black can't move. Oh, okay. So stalemate is when either party physically cannot move. It's not saying, like, in three moves, I could, like, get a kill. It's saying, as of right now, it cannot move at all. Oh, okay, okay. I think I get it now. Black's king is trapped in the corner, and Black's pawn is checking White's king. Can you find the only white move that avoids stalemate? Alright, because if I move the queen up, then the king is just going to move up and down. I think I would have to capture the pawn, so... K, X, G, 3. Nope. <laughs> Why is that wrong? After this move, black does not have any legal moves, but it's not in check. Oh, okay, so you gotta get them to have no moves besides check. Oh, I can kill the pawn. And then we just got to keep chasing it to play normally. Okay, I sh I just I still don't get it. But you know what I do understand? That we're two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some more ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. You also get emotes. Isn't that cool? So if you enjoy the stream, if you enjoy what I do, subscribe. Get some water, get some, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Wait, what does speed look like? I've never seen that emote. Mods enable speed. Speech. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'll enable it for the fans. Oh, there's also Spenge. It's like a people emote, but it's distorted. Okay, I enabled it. Let's see. Oh, I got a refresh. There it is. I did it. <laughs> I live in a random country that never gets ads. That's cool, though. You know, I'm just glad folks are here watching live, you know? I, I don't get shit in ad revenue. I think last year, I obviously can't share my ad split, but... Last year, for all the ads that I ran, because I have to run three minutes every hour, doesn't matter if I'm partner or whatever. Um, last year, all my ad revenue for all of 2023, I made enough to like literally buy a Starbucks coffee. I only made like 
Okay, I, I made between six and eight dollars. I can't see the exact amount, but it was between six and eight dollars for the entire year for ads. Nah, that's because I don't have a large viewer account, but that's fine. Back in. <laughs> is that a statement that is too little or that Starbucks is expensive? Um, both. <laughs> the, the majority of my revenue is from subscriptions. So like tier ones, prime subs. But even then, um, last year, I, if I would have lived in an apartment, which apartments in my region go for like 1800 for a one bedroom for my entire stream revenue for both 2022 and 2023 separately. I did not make enough to cover one month's rent in a one bedroom apartment in my county. You know, I don't, I don't get, I don't get a bag yet, but one year I will. 2024 is going to be my year. Okay. So I learned a little bit more about stalemates. I'm still kind of unsure, but I kind of understand a little bit more. I'm kind of with this lesson is actually really good. I really do appreciate how there's like interactive chess boards. I do feel like I'm learning a lot. Twitch grinding is hard. You know, it's, you gotta like have fun with it though. Like if you're streaming like to get money or to be popular, like don't fucking do it. You're not going to do it. Like do it cause you enjoy doing it and you have fun. Also, um, Tooth, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you find the stream? Like, did you find it on the chess category? <laughs> or did you, like, did you, like, find it somewhere else? When you see it as a job, it gets rough, yeah. The only thing, like, the dream, legit the dream, is to make enough, like, sub-revenue. That way I can afford a full-time editor. Because, like, the dream, I just click go live, somebody else edits it. Like, I'll still edit clips, but, like, to edit long form. And then I can just focus on, like, more live stuff. I've been getting your reels a bunch? Ain't no way. That's cool. Well, I'm glad you came over, Tooth. My Instagram reels have been doing really well recently. I got one, like, last week. Here, I'll put the music on while I'm yapping. I got one last week. Wait, how many views is, is it at? It's, like, fucking at 50k views or some shit. Which my account only has how many followers? I've gotten a lot of followers the past three months though. My reels have been popping. I have 380 followers. Damn, I've gained like 200 in the past four months. Which is a lot. Wait, the reel is at 84,000. Wait, <laughs> it's playing. The reel got 84,000 views, 5,000 shares, which is a lot. And. It's fucking hilarious, because I've gotten, like... Because on my Instagram Reels, I have comments disabled, because, like, there's so many shitters on Instagram. Like, if I enable comments, I get, like, fat comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, somebody left a gif. And it's a gif of a rainbow dolphin saying, you are gay. Um, let's block this guy, because obviously they're being mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm like half gay, I'm bi, so like, it's kind of true, but like... <laughs> anyway, so like, since that reel popped off, I've gotten so many hate DMs. Does IG give revenue? Um, I think you have to have a verified account. Instagram does allow, like, gifting on posts. Like, you see on, like, YouTube comments where people can, like, gift $5 in a comment. But in order to do that, you have to be a registered LLC, which I have an LLC for my art business, but not for streaming because I don't make enough money. So I can't enable donations on Instagram yet. But if you want to support the stream, subscribe with Prime for free right now. Hi, Alien. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Yeah, we do have Joel enabled in the chat room. We also have Rainbow Joel. Enough about Instagram. Let's play chess. I don't know. I don't get many shitters, but it's really funny. It's really funny when people do. What's Joel called? 
Yeah, it's called Joel Pride. Even though Pride Month is over, we still have Rainbow Joel enabled. Okay, let's play some more chess. Stalemate is just one of the possible ways to end the game in a tie. Another way is to simply agree to a draw. This might happen if neither- Guys, be honest, if you played with me, can we just like forfeit right away so we can like boost my rank? Their player can see a way to victory. One person offers the draw, and the other can accept or decline. Another way to get a draw is if the exact same position is repeated three times. After three repetitions, oh. either player can claim a draw when it is their turn to move. Okay. Or, if you're playing online, a draw will automatically be called after three repetitions. Another way to draw is if neither player has enough pieces to checkmate, like Lone King versus Lone King. You'll learn more about this later. Finally, you can also draw if 50 pairs of moves have been played on the board without any captures or pawn moves. This keeps you from dying of boredom as you and your <laughs> opponent move your rooks back and forth Yawn. forever. Chess. Now it's your turn to practice drawn <laughs> positions. <laughs> Yawn 50 turns. <laughs> I've never played Minecraft, and I'm sorry to the Minecrafters in chat. I have no interest in playing a kid's game. Look, I'm playing chess, an adult game. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I legit have never played Minecraft. I remember it was 8th grade. It was 8th or 7th grade. I had to sleep over at my friend's house, and she had two computer setups. So she and then the other girl who was at the sleepover were both playing Minecraft. And then they were like, hey, Peace, and do you want to play? And I was like, no. And then they just played Minecraft for like an hour as I like... And then I went... I played Cooking Mom on 3DS on my friend's DS as they play Minecraft. Mario Kart is an adult game confirmed? No! Think about all the adults who play Mario Kart every day. Whenever I play on stream, I play at like 10 to 1 p.m. PST. So everybody who's playing is an adult in Japan. Okay, wait, what am I supposed to do? We have entered a completely drawn endgame. Can you find the move that immediately forces a draw for white? For white. Oh, wait, I'm playing as white. Yeah, and then the king would capture. Yep, I'm so good. I will sing a song. <gasps> Ain't no way. It's been forever since I've sung a song for chat. Stop the music. I haven't sung a song in like three months. I saved enough points. Oh, you're too sweet. Yay! It's been forever. Guys, if you want to see my other singing clips, click the link in chat. It's on my YouTube. What song should I sing? Oh, I have an idea. I don't know if any of you Zoomers will know the song. If you guys could, put your favorite emote, your favorite animated emote, in the chat room. Spam all you want. I'm gonna do the second verse of this song. If anybody guesses it, I will say thank you, and good job. Okay. Man, it's been so long. Guys, get ready to pog out of your mind. Okay. Yeah. It's plain to see. The baby, you're beautiful. And there's nothing wrong with you. That it's me. I'm a freak. But thanks for loving me, cause you're doing it perfectly. 
Yeah, there might have been a time when I would let you slip away. I wouldn't even try. But I think you could save my life. Okay, that was the second verse. I kind of want to do the first one, because I can't do the chorus. Wait, actually, I won't do the first verse. I lied. <laughs> I lied. The chorus is so hard. Or I guess I could do the opening. Hey, slow it down. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Yeah, I'm afraid. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? There might have been a time when I would give myself away. Oh, once upon a time, I didn't give a damn. But now, here we are. So what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, so that was like the first verse, the bridge, and the second verse. I didn't realize the verses were that short. I thought they were longer. But anyway, thank you, Alien, for redeeming. Any guessers? It, it literally said the title in the chorus. But I think you could save my life. Just don't give up. I'm working it out. What do you want from me? Oh my god, you got it! Good job! Um, it's by Adam Lambert. I think he won American Idol or some shit, or he was on it. <clears throat> I'm working it out. I wanna let you down. It's so pretty. There was another song I'm learning. Get back to work. No more dilly dallying. I'm a chess streamer now. It looks like white is losing. But can you find a way to block the position so no pawn can move by either side? Wait, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Block the position so no pawn moves can be made by either side. This one. Easy. I didn't listen to all of Eminem's new album. It's because, like, out or Eminem has always been, like, such a lib. And it's fine, whatever. But, like... It's, like, too much about, like... I guess the differences between the age classes, and it's just, like, annoying to listen. I, I got fucking annoyed, like, halfway through, and I haven't, like, finished it. White is down a rook for a pawn, but the pawn is one move away from promoting. Can you find a trick that forces a draw for white? A draw? It would have to be A8 A equals Q. Yeah, and then my king would have to take, and then we're... It's a draw. Okay, got it. White's rook is under attack, and black is ready to promote the pawn into a queen. Can you find a sacrifice that forces a draw for white?
what? A king and a bishop cannot create a checkmate without other pieces, so the game is a draw. How am I supposed to know that? White is down material, but can force a repetition by making a series of checks that black can escape. How should you do it? Okay, not that. <laughs> not that. This? No. This. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. One of the most unusual rules of chess is called castling. This move was invented to speed up the game and do two things at once. When you castle, your king moves toward the safety of the corner and your rook comes toward the action in the middle. You literally are moving two pieces at once, but it counts as just one move. You can castle in either direction, left or right. In either case, your king moves over only two squares and then the rook from that side is moved directly to the other side of the king. Like this. And here's another example of castling. What? Let's say you're playing a game right here on chess.com. Here Ain't are no way. two ways you can make the castling move. The first option is to drag the king to the square where it will castle, and then the rook will automatically move, like this. Another option is to click the square the king is currently on, in this case, e8, and then the square where you will move the king, g8. So we click e8, followed by g8, and now we're castled. Okay, so that's just how you get the Castling rook out of the corner. Castling is a great move with many benefits if it is used at the right time. However, there are a few conditions that may prevent you from castling. First off, you cannot castle when you are in check. You must first deal with the check before trying to castle. Secondly, you cannot castle... Okay, somebody got autobotted? if your king would castle through a check or after castling your king would land into a check next you cannot castle if there are any pieces in between your king and your rook it must be completely empty in this position both white and black have to move one piece before they're able to castle after knight f3 and bishop c5 for example both sides are now able to castle kingside Finally, you cannot castle if your king has made any other move before or if the rook you are castling with has already moved. It must be the first move for both pieces. Oh. In this position, I don't like the that. only legal castling move is for black. Since white's king has already moved, white cannot castle. Notice black can only castle with the rook on h8 because the other rook has already moved. What is the notation for castling? It depends on if you castle kingside or queenside. In this position, let's say white castles kingside. The way you would write it is 0-0. If black now castles queenside, we would add one more 0. So it would be 0-0-0. One way that can help you remember this is notice on the king side there are two squares between the white king and the rook. Notice 0 0 has two zeros. Ain't no way. So king side castling, two squares, two zeros. Notice on the queen side there's three squares between the king and the rook. Queen side castling has three zeros 0 0 0. Now that you've learned this powerful move, it's time to practice castling. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. White is ready to castle king side. Castle white's king. So zero hyphen zero. Can you find the move to castle white's king? Zero hyphen zero hyphen zero. 
Since the king can't castle out a check, can you find the best way to block the check so white can castle later in the game? Block the check. You'd have to move the queen here. Wait, what? Oh, the pawn. Yeah, the pawn is a better sacrifice. Why didn't I do that? Can you find a way for white to castle on this turn? Oh, the white moved. It's supposed to be here. So it can't castle to the left. Wait, what? I... So it can't castle the direction in which it moved? What? Why can't castle right now? Because the king would castle directly into a check from Black's bishop. Can you block the black bishop and prepare to castle on the next turn? Oh, maybe the previous one was because the rook moved. We block it with a pawn. Easy. Now we castle. <laughs> 8 out of 12. Next lesson. The last weird rule in chess is called en passant, which is French for in passing. This rule was introduced at the same time pawns were allowed to move two squares on their first move. When that happened, sometimes pawns would move past other pawns without giving the other pawn an opportunity to capture, which didn't seem fair. So en passant was invented. Pay attention, it's tricky. If your opponent's pawn moves forward two squares, which it can only do if it is that pawn's first move and it lands directly next to one of your pawns, then on your next turn, and that turn only, you have the opportunity to capture that pawn as if it had only moved one square, like this. Let's take a look at that again. What? If a pawn is moved forward two squares and lands next to another pawn, that pawn can capture the first pawn on its very next move. You move behind the pawn as if it had moved only one square and capture it, placing it off the board. You might get some weird looks if you do this move in a game with someone who doesn't know, but it's an important rule of chess. Now that you've learned en passant, let's have you try it. I've never heard of this in my entire life. In this position, black just advanced the pawn to e6, capture the pawn. Wait, th that's a normal capture though, what? Capture black's queen. We'll move two. Oh, okay, so it's like a set, it's a layup. Why does two pawns that can advance in two squares? Play the move that safely avoids en passant. Okay, so you just don't want to advance adjacent to another pawn. Capture the black rook with a pawn on d4. That guy advanced too. We go behind him. What? We go behind him. Oh, so... So this would have been a legal move? It just would have been a worse move, allegedly. Oh yeah, because the king... No. Oh, okay, I see now. Capture Black's Queen with the B4 pawn. What? Wait, what? 
The ump was saw a loud checkmate. Oh. <laughs> okay, reset. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I gotta look at the whole board when I play. I keep forgetting. In order to get better at chess, you will need to learn notation, which is often referred to as the language of chess. Every square on the chessboard has a name, which is actually just its coordinates. As we mentioned before, each column is called a file, and each row is called a rank. Every file in chess is given a letter, starting with the letter A on the left side of the board and going all the way to the letter H on the right. Every rank is given a number, starting with 1 on the white side of the board and going up to the number 8 on the black side of the board. Each square is named by its coordinate pair. Let's meet some of the squares. This square in the lower left-hand corner is known as A1. Notice we identify it with the letter first and the number second. I know I'm going to learn more about annotation in this, but like, that's like baby shit. Let's take a look and see where the E file meets with the fourth rank. Notice the arrows point at E4. So this square is known as E4. In no way. Let's draw a diagonal starting from A1 and go all the way up the board. Notice we land on the H8 square. And in between these squares, we see B2, C3, D4, E5, F6, and G7. Together, this is known as the A1 to H8 diagonal, because the diagonal begins on A1 and ends on H8. Now that you've learned how to label each square on the chessboard, it's time to learn the notation of actual chess moves. Each piece has its own letter for chess notation. In this example, the king's letter is a capital K. With white to move, didn't we learn this already? I feel like we did. I think maybe I got put into the next lesson already. Let's see. Oh no, I'm still playing the game. Dude, there's so many courses. Okay, we'll keep going. Let's say the king is going to move to the E2 square. The way we describe that move is by saying the piece's letter first, which is capital K, then the square it moves to, E2. Remember, a piece always begins with a capital letter, and the square is always lowercase. So after the move, king E2, putting it all together, we say K E2. Let's say black wants to play king to d7. In this case, it's the same idea. Capital K, lowercase, d7. So piece, then square. K, d7. We will use the same idea for all the other pieces. The rook is a capital R. The queen, a capital Q. The bishop, a capital B. The knight, however, is a little bit different. Since the capital K is already used for the king, we use oh, a capital N for the knight. Okay, for that example, makes sense now. N, E6. Finally, you may think that pawns are a capital P. In this case, pawns are only written as the square that they move to. For example, after the move E4, the notation is simply the square the pawn moved to, E4. Now that you've learned the language of chess, it's your turn to practice using chess notation. No, I don't want a quiz. White wants to m march a pawn at the board. Play a5. Easy. Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Why would like to attack the b7 pawn by playing rd7? How could you do that?
Okay, so attack means advance, not kill. The attack is confusing me. You know what else confuses me? People who watch the stream and don't follow. Because, guys, we're another 30 minutes in. So, if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty sick? So, guys, follow the stream right now. White wants to cut the Black King off from the F file. Play RF2. Oh, I would never voluntarily make that move in my life. White can move two pieces to d8. Play q d8. Oh yeah, because the bishop can too. Do you mean a lot of things? Wait, what does that mean? White can move two knights to e4. Play the knight from G file to E4. I'm getting it! Now that you've learned how to move, to capture, to check, and checkmate, as well as do the special moves in chess like castling and en passant, it's time for you to feel what it's like in a real game. No! In a real game, nobody is there to tell you what to move. You have to think and decide, what is the right move? Should I move a piece, or can I capture something? Should I castle, or try to promote one of my pawns? This is where the thinking part of chess comes in. I thought he was going to say promote the merge. And you have to try and decide what your best move is. The only way to do this is by looking at the board and considering both your options and your opponent's possible plans, and then trying to decide which move improves your position the most. Dude, imagine I just grind chess like Tyler One did. Would you guys watch it? Type one. Sometimes the right move will jump right out at you. Rook H8, checkmate. At other times, you'll have absolutely no idea what the best I move always is. have no idea! Let's see if you can find a good move in each of the following positions. Black is currently up three pawns, so Black decides to offer a trade of queens, thinking it will be easier to win the game without having to deal with White's queen. Black didn't consider what the queen was doing on the eighth rank. Can you find White's best move? That's like a piece and throw right there. <laughs> okay, White's best move. The black queen. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I thought it was an interactive game. It's the audio. Okay. Um. It, it would. If you kill the black queen, the pawn would kill it, so it'd be a trade. Maybe moving the bishop? I don't know. Queen gave up protection of the back rank and forgot to ask what checks white has in the position. What? I have a check somewhere? What? Oh, I just moved the queen up. It only has one check, but it's checkmate. If you found queen e8 checkmate, great job. Oh, I kind of got it. Is known as they a had to hold my hand checkmate. a little bit. In this position, after rook a1 check, it looks like black is about to deliver a back rank checkmate. What is white to do? Well, if white know. decides to block with rook e1, notice that doesn't help because after rook takes e1, it's checkmate. Let's look a little closer. Can you find another white piece that can help us deal with the check? Okay. 
I'm going to apply everything I've learned. Put them into check. Wait, how? In only one move? I don't know. If you found the move bishop takes a1, great job. The bishop moves all the way from the other side of the board to come to the rescue, capturing the checking piece. Remember, if you can cap... Oh, I thought I had to put it in check, not stop the check. Sure, I need to listen. Piece, this can often be the best way to get out of check. In this position... Um, my disability makes it hard to process written instructions, so that's why. And what do you think is White's best move? Okay, wait, I need to go back and listen. In this position, what do you think is White's best move? Oh, but... Okay. Oh, um, R, R, A, A, hashtag. If you're thinking Rook A8 delivering a back rank checkmate, you have to remember, it's not just your moves you have to consider. We also have to figure out Wait, what is I'm our opponent check. doing. Wait, I'm in check! I'm in check! The black queen is right there! <laughs> in this position, White's best move is also White's only move, because notice, White is in check. And in this position, white must deal with the check first and play king h1. Now black has to be careful and deal with white's threat on the next turn. In this position... I did not see the check. Position, can you find white's best move? Notice... Okay, white's best move. So far, I've gotten one half correct. And the other not really correct because I missed a check. White's best move. Um, probably a8 equals q. It's that we can capture a pawn with rook takes e4, but then black is able to do the same thing with knight takes a7. Remember, yeah, move the pawn. when you find a good move, always look for a better move. Don't forget about your pawn on a7. It's one move away I from reaching right. the 8th rank. Do Plus you remember one. what happens when a pawn reaches the other side of the board? That's right. The pawn gets a promotion. Notice the newly promoted queen puts the black king into check and threatens the knight all at the same time. After king f7, queen takes c6 wins the knight. It takes time and practice to find the best move. Now it's your turn to continue practicing finding the best move. This is what I genuinely need the most help on, finding the best move. How should white escape the check? Q Q Q X G5 Yeah, there's nothing else blocking it. Every time you promote pull out the merge links, guys. Wait, I didn't promote. We'll do it next bit. I don't have merch, but I have art. All this stuff you see back here is my actual artwork you can buy. We sold a painting last week that we painted on stream Saturday. Smile. Hashtag not an ad because it's my own company. KW! The white's queen is in danger. Should you move it or is there a better option? Okay, if I were to play this two hours ago... I would have just moved the king. But now we're actually going to think. You mean a piece and painted those? Yes, sir. Okay, a better move. Am I in check? I'm not in check. 
Is it saying the queen is in danger because I don't have protection? I think it's R E eight hashtag because then the the king can't move at all. Yeah, I'm a gamer. The game is just started, but White already has a very strong move. Can you find a good capture? I don't see it. I guess I could go like this and take that pawn. Because the horse could move out. But then I can just take out their rook. Great job. White's bishop captures the unprotected pawn and now attacks black's rook, which is completely trapped. Wait, I got it exactly right. Oh my god. I'm learning! How should white escape the check? The king cannot go left or right, so it'd still be in check. The only thing I realistically can do is I can move the knight here. That way it blocks that rook, and then next turn I can move the bishop up. Or no, the rook up or down. I could go like this, bring the bring the rook d1, but then I would lose it. So I honestly, I think it's better to move the knight. So n, n, f1. The knight is defended by the king, so white keeps the material advantage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because if I move the, if I moved the rook down, it would be too far away from the king. I was correct. I almost had the full explanation, but I had it. White wishes the black king would be in the h8 corner. So white could deliver a checkmate. Can you find white's best possible move in this position? We gotta get it in the corner. You could move the horse. So N E seven or N F six. But then the king could still move diagonal. And if I move the rook, I would lose all protection my king has. And then the king could just take it. There's no real good move. Unless it's in two turns. I think the horse backs it up a little bit more. Into the corner. So my final guess. N, E7. Why didn't move back? Because like the, the king could have moved to f8 just to dodge and then it could have clapped me i think it's checkmate in two okay let's see what it says fantastic the knight escapes the bishop's attack and forces black's king into the corner can you find white's winning move oh so it is a two move check oh yeah i did okay i legit did not see because the the knight was here on d5 i did not see the bishop b7 <laughs> Can I find the winning move now? It would have to be rook. Rook f8. That way it's for sure stuck. W! Okay, I think I got like half of those right. W. I feel like I've learned a lot and I cannot wait to play another game. You know the rules and how to play. 
but now it's time to see the ideas you have learned put into action in an actual game. In this game, we'll see how two pieces working together can be a powerful force in that a king surrounded by pieces isn't always safe. Let's take a look. White begins the game with e4, controlling the center and opening up lines for the queen and light squared bishop. Black plays c6, a move we haven't seen yet. The idea is to prepare the move d5 on the next turn and attack the strong pawn on e4. White plays d4, controlling more space in the center and also opening up the dark squared bishop. Black strikes back in the center with d5, threatening to capture the pawn on e4 on the very next move. When the opponent threatens to take one of our pieces, it's natural to feel worried. Remember, it's okay to make even trades, such as a pawn for a pawn. What you don't want is to give away your pieces for nothing. In this situation, white could push the pawn forward with e5, white could capture the pawn on d5, or, as in the game, protect the pawn and develop a piece with knight to c3. After d takes e4, knight takes e4, white's knight recaptures the pawn and moves directly into the center. Black now plays knight to d7, developing a knight and also preparing the next move, knight g to f6, with the idea that if the knight gets captured, black is ready to recapture the knight, like that. The drawback to this move is the light squared bishop is blocked, and also notice black's king has no moves. We'll take a look and see if that becomes a problem. White plays bishop to c4 activating the bishop to a powerful diagonal and, as you know, pointing at the weakest point in black's camp, f7. Black plays knight g to f6, attacking white's knight, and white plays knight to g5, avoiding the knight's attack and joining the light squared bishop in attacking the f7 square. In this position, black should play e6, blocking the light squared bishop's path to the f7 square but black does not have a sense of danger in the position and plays h6, attacking the knight and assuming that it's going to move backwards. Can you find the move that immediately wins the game for white? I wasn't keeping up with any of that. It was a lot. It seems like lesson 11 to lesson 12 is a huge jump. Okay, how do I get check in one move? Let's see. Yeah, it, okay, it would have to be B, B, F7, that way the king can't move. I think I'm going to have to go, but then the knight is on standby. That's right. Bishop takes F7. White delivers checkmate, threatening to capture the king on the next turn, and notice black's king is surrounded, or should we say smothered, by its own pieces. It cannot escape the attack. You've learned a lot so far. Can you put your ideas into action? Let's prove it in the challenges. Okay, I'll try my best. Let's open the game by moving the pawn in front of white king's two moves ahead. Push another pawn into the center. Which one, though? I kind of want to make another opening for my queen. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, why are those wrong? This move does not bring a second pawn into the center. Oh, they mean like the center line. Oh, okay. Got it, boss. Are you a pro yet? I'm ranked 400. Let's go. Don't worry. I'll get to like rank 2k like by the end of the day, surely. I could 
betrayed you. Oh wait, that guy moved two spaces. Can I go like this? No. Wait, what am I supposed to do? White now has two pawns in the center. Oh wait, that's it. Okay, that was just practicing an opener. Black is threatening to capture white's pawn on e4. Can you find a move that develops a knight and protects the e4 pawn? So we gotta save this guy with a knight. N, C3, that way I can attack the pawn. How can white capture black's pawn on e4 and regain material? Easy, they literally showed that in the lesson. It will be on the test, apparently. Can you develop a bishop to attack the f7 target and help control the center? Wait, they showed this in the video. Bishop, or B, B, C, 4. Can you move the E4 knight to safely and join, can you move the E4 knight to safety and join the bishop on C4 in attacking the F7 square? Join the bishop on c4. <laughs> That's not it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was this. N, g5. Black attacks white's knight with the h6 pawn. Can you find the white's winning move? Wait, what? Oh, it was just replaying what they did in the lesson. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Those were the two new to chess lessons, about an hour each. Granted, I did take a bit longer than I thought. So chess.com has a whole bunch of more specific tutorials. We're not doing them all today. This is not a subathon. I might learn these and like watch these offline. But now that I've learned all the basics of chess, I think it's time for a, a redemption game. Let's do one more game today. Do them all imagine. Imagine. Once again, we are going to face Malika. Guys, go Gamba. Do you think I will win this time? I do know a little bit more than I did three hours ago. Okay, I'm also going to try and vocalize all my decisions. E4. I kind of want to bring the knight out. And C3. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> F 
F3. I'm now in check. G3. Push it back. Also, guys, I'm sorry, but we are three hours into stream. So, it's time for me to run a few ads. If you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and help support the stream. Also, thank you for the follow. I missed it. Thank you. Six minutes ago, W. Thank you. Get boom, non subs. Get her back in. The prediction ended 73% yes. Thank you, believers. Okay, so we pushed the queen back. We blocked our king from getting murked. I can't subscribe in my country. No. Are you able to receive gifted subscriptions? Because if so, Tooth, you can save your channel points and I will give you a sub every month. Or if we have a generous um oiler in the chat, cough, cough. Okay, let's see. I'm locked in. I kind of want to bring my bishop out. I'm not playing with any strategy right now. I'm just playing. I would prefer to support rather than having you gifting. Oh, it's okay. Um, I have the I gift you a sub redemption for 15,000 points channel points because it usually takes people a month of streams to earn it so you know if you're gonna watch anyway might as well think three moves ahead you know i'm a four head not a three head so i can't think three moves ahead i hope that got some laughs, <laughs> okay i'm gonna log in I really want to bring this pawn out, that way I can move this bishop. I don't get how people can play chess with like one second between turns. It's crazy. I can't castle yet. There's pieces in between, bozo. Okay, I what I'm thinking. Oh wait, right click highlights the square. Okay, knight here. And then I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what went past there. I could take out their bishop with that, though. Those people have everything memorized, every single move. I know, like, I think they're just too into chess. They should, like, get a girlfriend or something. I don't have a girlfriend either, so... Sad. <laughs> okay, let's see. You know what? Let's bring this guy out. Okay, this guy can take out the knight or the pawn. And there's no way to stop him. It'll...
Oh, yeah, because if this knight takes the pawn, then I'll be in check. Then I'll have to move the king. I, I, I'll i lose the knight. I'll take the L. Wait, but now this bozo can take me out. <laughs> Dude, what is this? What is this in my chat room? Careful the knight. Sometimes they can fuck you. I know. Did well to take it, thank you. Also, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But welcome in, jellyfish. Or should we not scare call you that because you're scared of jellyfish? Okay, let's see. They actually mean fork? <laughs> Wait, that means they're a chess fan. <laughs> Uh, type one of your chess viewer, not a peace and fan. Okay, okay. I have to move the knight. L L L. Ethan, you watch me just for Pokemon. Be honest. Lock it in. I'm here now, aren't I? That is true. You know, the good thing about being a variety streamer is that you lure people in with one theme and then they like you, so then they just watch every stream. Type 1 if that was you. Type 2 if you're a hate watcher. Okay. This is technically my second game, like, ever. I feel like I'm doing a lot better. I'm, like, actually thinking about what I'm doing. Wait. How do I do it? Phase up? Did I do it? <laughs> uh, mods, ban anybody who said two? I'm logged in. Who's my favorite phase member? I don't watch any phase people. Unfortunately. I don't- Okay, how do I say this? I don't like org content creators as much. I don't like group content. Like, like making it and then also like watching. It's not my favorite. Either way, this knight is gonna die. I guess I can move him back. No, he's gonna die. Wait, the knight is dead! Peace I 2 7, my knights. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this, watch this. W, W, W. Okay, I moved the bishop. Bishop, B, C, 7. King in check. So they have to move the king to the right. And then... Because if they're... Are you blind? Shut up! Shut up! I'm blind. This is my second game of the day in seven years. Reconsider which piece to move. I'm 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 vocalizing what I'm thinking, guys. That would be an insane move though. <laughs> I know it's not the best. I'm just looking at my options. But no, because like it would force the king to move. Or wait, no, no, I, I should maybe force Oh wait, no 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 no. If I move the knight here, then the king would have to move again. So, like, either way, I can put the, the, the king into check twice. The, either way, it would have to move. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Check means you either have to kill the attacker or move the king. I totally forgot about that. Wait, never mind. These are actually both really bad. 
Because if I move the king here, the bishop will kill there, so that's stupid. If I move the bishop b c seven, then the queen can kill it. But then the knight will kill the queen. Right, right. You know what? Fuck it, I'm doing it. Oh wait, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Why <laughs> wait? wait. I thought the bishop would go to c7, but it's the wrong color tile. I'm not green, red, color blind, I swear. Oh, dude, I thought it was cooking. You guys were right. We were telling you? I, okay, I, like, if, if the bishop was on the dark tiles, it could have worked. I think I would run out of time if this were a real game, right? How about we'll just leave the- No, wait, the knight's gonna die. I don't want the knight to die. Move the pawn? That way, if knight kills, I kill the knight. Blood. Okay, it didn't do it. Pawn. G4. This guy kills me. But then, I kill it. But then the knight kills me! Bishops and horses are considered three points, so it's an even trade. Oh, I don't care about points. I, I just want to win. I need a W today. I had a loss earlier. Wait, how's it knowing from the US? It's assuming. Do a calculation before every trade. What I learned about the annotations is that this is like basically math. And even though I scored a 4 on my AP Calc exam, I don't want to do more math. <laughs> do, do, do. Did you just assume my nationality? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the frick? I almost said the F word. <laughs> I've sworn too much today already. Okay, I need to leave. I'm leaving my knight and my bishop alone for now. I think it's fine. Yeah, because since I moved the pawn to c4, not the explosive. The knight will explode if it tries to kill my knight. Advance. Is this a trick? The rook could come down, but that would be crazy to take out a pawn. That would be insane. But, like, a free kill? I want blood. Nah, maybe I don't want blood. Nah. Uh, I kind of want to move this pawn up. That way I can get my queen out and about. Oh, how do I do the arrows? I don't know how to do the arrows. Oh my god, I almost moved it. Oh my god. I just learned that right click makes it red. How do I do arrows? It didn't tell me how. Maybe this guy up. Right click and move the mouse. Wait, it's not working. Oh, wait, okay. It kind of worked there, but it's very finicky. Wait, how do I get rid of the arrows? <laughs> wait, how do, I, how do I get rid of them? <laughs> wait, there's two. <laughs> click just click somewhere okay thank you okay 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 i'm learning it's day one of chess week guys
Okay, I'm stalling too much. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. Is this a trap? Bishop takes knight. Nothing can kill me. But the knight... The knight could go like this. Should I take it? Should I? Should I? I want blood. I want blood. I feel there's a reason why this pawn isn't taking this pawn. It's very sus. Wait, I just realized this bishop here? And I'm dead. I should keep this guy here. Oh, the reason why the pawn isn't taking is because I have another pawn here. Okay, we'll leave this corner alone. Should we do a little trade? If I move that here. Advancing. Oh! Wait, what was that? What'd he take? Oh, that was my bishop. Shit. Shit. You know what? I hate you. I want blood. Wait, watch this. Knight? Nope. Knight? F6. King and check. Nothing can kill me if I'm here. Oh, wait, the queen could. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I thought. Hello, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? If you got any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Hello. Okay, I'm still thinking. Como se dice? Oh, pensar is to think. Quiero ganar este... Game? No, it's not Partido. Partido is like sports game. I know Ajedrez is chess in Spanish. Why am I speaking in Spanish? I just edited the Spanish stream we did. I think the red squares are easier for me than the arrows. I know it's not as easy for the viewer, but it's easier in my head. Oh, I wish the horse was on a dark square. That way he could go to a light square. I don't think there's, like, anything really good I can do. And if there is, please don't tell me. <laughs> uh... It's good because me advancing my pawns on the left side is making it so these can't move so the bishop and the rook are stuck. Maybe I can move horse here. Bishop here. Yeah, I think I'll move the horse here. But then what? Why though? I don't know! I don't know what is 
sky blue right now. I don't know. I don't want to move my pawns because I kind of like how everything is blocked off right now. Like, we're keeping the black, like, where they started. Okay, watch this. Knight e6. Pawn takes. And then I'm like, ah, imagine. Bishop kills it. Oh, but then that pawn kills me. Okay. You gotta attack. I don't want to die. I don't want to be drafted. Did you guys see all like the the guys chirping and crying about, I don't want to be drafted. Oh, no, no. It's like, yeah, nobody should have to be drafted. I'll say it. Nobody should have to participate in conflict if they don't agree with it. I'm scared. They took their queen out. <laughs> I would be so bad on the battlefield. Like, where would my tick nine hours of TikTok go a day? <laughs> You're like on the battlefield, like in the trenches scrolling. <laughs> They're like, man, look at what people are saying about this war. <laughs> okay, I'm locked in, I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Nah, I'd win the war myself. I've seen Rambo four times. <laughs> well, you know what? I've seen it five times, so I'd be a way better soldier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be honest, I haven't seen Rambo any times. I lied for the joke. Should I be cancelled? Okay, I need to lock in. I'm so scared. Okay, the queen would not take out the knight, because that would be stupid, because then my pawn could kill it. So, the queen could go this way. Could go this way. No, it can't go diagonal. Wait, the queen is kind of stuck here. It, only, it can only really go here, and then here, and then... Yeah, the queen is kind of stuck. I can't believe you would lie to us like that. Wait, you're right. You're a new follower. I can't be acting like this. Guys? Wholesome mode engaged. No more lying. Also, I can't swear anymore. If I swear... Um, nothing happens. They're thinking moves ahead. You think I'm that smart? I have a big brain. But it doesn't work like that. Play a time game? I am not playing a time game. I am not. I am not. I am not. It's day one of chess week. You think I can handle a time game? Type one. You're thinking a move ahead? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't have much memory space up here. I don't have like a 10 gigabyte RAM. Wait, no. It's like 100. I meant to say terabyte, not gigabyte. It's an adrenaline rush. You know, I just walk on the sidewalk and hope a car doesn't hit me. That's how I get my daily adrenaline. Okay, seriously? I need to play. <laughs> uh, editor, like, cut out any fail I did. I'm locked in. You know, I kind of want to do something crazy. I kind of want to move my rook here. Fuck it. But, like, why, though? You guys are going to be like, why? I don't know. Also, why is this guy not doing anything? He's not moving it. Okay, I move knight d5. Then the queen can either go this way, diagonal. It can't because it can only go to its piece. It would hit 
this pawn, which is fine because then my bishop could kill. Or it could go diagonal. You know what? I'll move the knight here. Okay, I can either take out this pawn, but that's whatever, because that's a pawn. But if this pawn takes me, then I can just have this rook kill it back. So, you know what? Wait, okay, wait, wait. Wait, if I do knight, if I do knight f6, which is what I wanted to do initially, it would kill the queen. Why didn't they move the queen, right? And then it would put the king in check. Nothing could kill the knight, because it has two pawns in front of it. Bishop can't reach it, rook can't reach it, so the king would have to move. But there's nothing that would kill it, it would just force the king to move, so it, it would force a move. So I think, yeah, just take out the queen. They're beginner, beginner? Yeah, this is one of the easy bots. <laughs> Cancel prediction? You're not a mod, that command doesn't work. Take this guy out. This guy, 07, he's gonna die. That's why we enlist randos. Well, you know what could be kind of crazy? Bishop, d7. Take out the pawn. But then the bishop kills me, right? But then the knight could kill the bishop. Uh, but then I'm losing a bishop. Once you're about six to eight points up, you can carefully trade pieces until they run out. Um... I know you're new, but, like, I ain't careful. <laughs> I play very reckless in, like, any game I play. Should I- should I swap out? Should I do a little castle? No, 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 no. You know what? Let's get the queen in there. Wait, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh, no, I'm so scared. Rook, d3. Take out this pawn. Why not? The Pokemon. Honestly, I think I'm doing pretty good keeping their, like, left corner stationary. I'm trying to figure out a way to where I, I can trap the king. But there's no way to do it unless it's like five moves ahead and I can't think that far. And I was scratching my head genuinely, not for like a bit there. I actually got itchy. Nissan, Shi, Goroku. Try a bot on the hardest difficulty after? Maybe. Maybe. You don't need to, you're 12 points up. No, but I'm scared. You missed the first game I did. It went downhill so quickly. Okay, I need to lock in. How many times have I said that? I'm never going to be one of those bozos who has, like, every move figured out. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You know, I went to art school, not chess school. Okay, fuck it. We ball. We ball. Impossible to lose? You've watched so many peace and streams, my guy. Wait, 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 okay. I take out this pawn. Oh no. 
Next turn. I take out this pawn. Oh no. King is in check. Oh, but then the bishop could get me. But then the bishop could get him back. No, that's stupid. Oh, but... My rook is right here. It's a straight shot. Okay, we're keeping this guy here. It's kind of an L that I lost my, my dark bishop. Kill. Queen takes this pawn. Oh no, what do I do? King is in check. Bishop takes. Rook takes. King either has to... Oh wait, I moved! I didn't right click. I, I left clicked. It's fine. It's fine. We could have, like, hit from any angles. Checkmate in one, you're lying. No, wait. Like, no, 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 no. I just moved the queen here. I moved the queen here. And then... Accidental best move? No way! Clippers! Clippers! I mean, I was... I was okay. I was kind of right though. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, queen here, and then we t we kill the bishop for blood. Then he's in check. Oh wait, it's literally check because then the king can't move here. It can't move here. It can't move here. It can't move here. It can't move here. Wait, literally, I win. Yes! <laughs> yes! Plus 12! Wait, no, is that rank? I just saw my points in the bottom. Let's freaking go! After three hours of learning, or like two, because the first game took like 40 minutes. This was another 30 minute game. I beat Malika, one of the easy bots. Let's go! Guys, screenshot. I did it. Let's go. Let's go! You know, you guys were saying accidental best move. I would have figured it out. Just give me like two more minutes and I would have like figured it out. Let's go! Guys, I'm a gamer. Well, I think that concludes day one of chess week. Today, I did two games. The first, I lost horribly. The second, I won! I didn't think I was going to win. I mean, I kind of thought I would, but like it's kind of scary. Like... Yeah, so we learned a bit. I learned the fundamentals, the basics of chess, the annotations, the move sets. I didn't learn any specific strats. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. So the plan is simple. Chess week 2024. Day one, we learned the basics. Day two, I think we'll do like a little more learning to learn some of the like specific strats. And then like some normal practice matches. And then day three, third Friday, day three, Friday. Facing the YouTuber bots in chess. Challenging every single YouTuber in chess. And then finally, Saturday. The big finale. Facing my greatest enemy of all time in chess. So guys, if you're new here, click follow if you don't want to miss it. Um, if you, and if you... Yeah, just follow. Easy clap. We've gotten three follows today, which is crazy for a peace and stream. You know what's funny? Look at this. Look at this. Did I win? Uh, yes, sir. You know what? I'll say it. Fuck the doubters. Take this L. Man, that was a pretty good day. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of chess day one? Chess week day one. Honestly, W. I feel good. Should we Wait, somebody recommended we do a hard game. I don't want to. I don't want to do a hard game. We'll do a hard game at the end of the week. I promise. Took me back to my beginner days. You know, we all gotta start somewhere, right? Nobody's born Picasso. I'm assuming chess week will be mostly chill. Yeah. 
Most of my streams are pretty chill. First stream I caught, but it was fun. Thank you. I'm glad you're able to watch today. Um, guys, do not worry. Stream is not over yet. We did get a resub and channel points. So use your channel points and I'll write your name on queue and stuff. Or subscribe if you like the stream and you don't want ads. Okay, I'm going to get the camera set up. While well, I'm getting the camera set up, just a gentle reminder. Today's stream is presented to you by... Oh my god, peaceandart.myshop.com. If you see the paintings back here, these are all my original artwork. Click the link in chat and go bookmark my website. New pieces coming out soon. Maybe next week, smile. Maybe like next next week. But bookmark my website right now. And also check out the blog section. I'm going to try posting more often, smile. Do, do, do. That's some cool art. Thank you. I'm working on lino prints and also paper cuts soon. So in the upcoming months, we'll have more artwork. By we, I mean me. It's all me, baby. And also, all the paintings on the website are actual paintings. It's not prints. I will physically paint you a painting if you order one. Oh, wait. You guys want to see something crazy? Any art fans? We talked briefly about, like, how colors will fade over time. So, um, we had somebody order a painting on last Thursday, and I painted it on stream Saturday. So this is the painting that was made on stream Saturday. And this was the same painting painted a year ago. A little over a year ago. And it's been on display in my room for about a year, right? So natural fading of colors does occur, whether it be under natural sunlight or artificial blue light or yellow light. So these are painted with house paint. Look at the difference. They're basically identical. If this were like acrylic paint, the painting that's a year old would be like two shades lighter but look at this basically no fading at all isn't that crazy i didn't save any samples of paint from last year compared to new paint but it's crazy it's crazy how like it hasn't faded like at all like i said if this were like marker or acrylic it would be hella faded <laughs> corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures no for real Damn, I really want one. Don't worry, Brian. You know, it's something that you can work towards. But welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hello. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. So welcome in. Um, if you follow the art channel, Brian, which I think you might have, I don't remember. Um, whenever the new drop comes out, so in a week or two, I will be giving away some art for free. So make sure you're following both channels and you're following here. Okay, I gotta hang it back up. W. <clears throat> and also, I'm working on making some smaller, like, artwork and then also art cards. So they will be lower price point. Because, you know, everybody's a broke, you know, me included. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Use your channel points and I will write your name right now. Thank you for redeeming tooth. Okay, let's hope I don't show feet. Oh my god, there's two of me! Okay, I showed the floor, not my feet, thank goodness.
I know we got a new a lot of new followers today. I mean three, but that's still a lot for a piece in the stream. We do calligraphy every day for anybody who helps support the channel monetarily, or you can use your channel points. That's some cool lettering. Thank you. You know, I did go to art school. <laughs> it's technically an art science degree because I know some coding. But even if folks aren't artsy, I definitely think calligraphy is one of the, the easier mediums to get into. Like, all you got to do is get some brush pens. You can find some cheapy ones. You code art? Oh, no, no, no. I know how to, like, make websites, kind of. Like, my website, um, guys, plug, bookmark my website. Like, it's made on, uh, yeah, front end mostly, yeah. <laughs> it's on Shopify, so, like, it has a website builder, but then I also did some custom code, too. I'm also going to work on recoding it, because I want to make more, like, transitions and stuff. You should be an art teacher. You know what? I'm sorry. Anybody who says you should be a teacher of blank, you're just saying that like they're bad at it. Think about it. All your gym teachers in school are fat. And then all your teachers are like kind of mid. No, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I haven't. Oh, wait. I forgot to update you guys. So I did talk to like a few like local art shops, like those who like sell or like who have like vendor space for like people to sell their artwork. And... I talked to a few shops, and everybody is really nice, but I'll be honest, it's kind of not worth it. Like, they either charge too much for, like, a vendor spot, like, 50 to $150, or they don't get enough sales to justify paying $100 to, like, make no sales. Which, it's not their fault, it's just not a lot of people want to buy art. So, um, where was I going with this? So I think for now, I'm going to focus on just streaming and like streaming art and stuff. I'll try and do like a bi-weekly art stream on the art channel. Make sure you guys are following, um, peace in underscore art. I'll shout it out in chat. Click the banner at the top of chat. Make sure you're following my second channel, Peace and Art, where we do art sometimes and paint orders live. So if you get a painting, I'll paint it just for you, smile. So, like, it's not worth it to sell art in person yet. And that was something that I was really looking forward to, but it's just not worth it. Until, like, I, I gain more prominence. And I do hope with more um, exposure, more sales, it will happen. I used to make fountain pens. Wait, that's so cool. I only have like, I have plastic like handles and then metal nibs. I, oh, that's so cool. Was it for work or for hobby, jellyfish? Should we do a calligraphy stream one day, like for real? I should learn. I also want to learn um, hobby. Okay, cool. I also want to learn um, What's it called? Wood engraving? No, wood burning. I do have a wood burning tool, but I don't have any wood. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I'm making it. Because I used to make, like, um, stencils by hand with a wood burning tool. So, like, I would just burn plastic. Getting wood would be important if you want to burn it. See, that's what I'm saying. I have considered, like, branching off into, like, sculpture or carving type work. 
but shipping is a nightmare. Why don't you customize things like gaming controllers or something with your art? I have thought about that. But I always feel like I have a but negative to like every single question. I have like a a very particular opinion about art. Um, if you look at the blog section, I explain a little bit more about my mentality around art and the about section on the website. But I don't like when art is commoditized to a certain degree. Like, I don't like computer prints, like digital prints. I think they look like shit. And if I ever got to a point where, like, all of my commission work was, like, painting switch docks, I would be sad. Like, I would want... Yeah, you could, like, limit how many, like, slots you have open for, like, commission work. But it would just feel not like me, I guess. It could be something I would consider in the future. But not for right now. I'm assuming you have strong opinions about digital art. No, I like digital art. I, I appreciate it. I just think it's... Okay. To clarify, I don't like digital prints for, like, physical paintings. Because when you... If you've ever seen a painting in person, or if you paint yourself, you know that a painting is not flat. There will always be layers of paint, different shadows that are cast when it's at different angles of light. I remember it was very prominent and it like stuck with me when I was eating at an olive garden and there was this like lovely painting of a field, but because it was a digital print, it had like, cause the painting was of a, the print was of a painting that had like very thick acrylic layers on it. So the print had like very dark shadows of where the shadows of the paint would be. But it was messing with me because I'm like, I know it's a 2D print. Like, it's not it, it's not supposed to be like that. Like, the light is not supposed to shadow in that direction. Because, like, um, like, if this were the painting, right? And the shadow... Like, you can see the shadow from my finger, right? Like, that's how it is in reality. But, like, imagine, like, in the print, the shadow was on that side. Like, it, it ruined it for me. But, um, I think it totally makes sense to have computer prints of digital artwork. That makes sense. Because, like, if you draw in 2D, it makes sense for the print to be 2D. Right? I personally haven't done a lot of digital art. Mainly because I'm not fucking good at it. <laughs> I'm really bad. If you look at my IG, I have, like, old artwork from, like, high school and shit. It's really bad. I think it's cool how you respect art in a certain way. Thank you. Now, keep in mind, I I talk shit, but I would never talk shit to somebody who, like, makes prints or stickers, okay? I would never. <laughs> I just watched, like, my, my stream preview, and, like, me crossing my fingers was kind of off screen. <laughs> I remember my grandmother having a lot of paintings with cool techniques, like using wood and sticks to create depth. Oh, I've seen that, like mixed media. You can use like plaster or like glue and tissue paper with sticks to make like 3D art. Okay, do you have anybody who's, who's, who wants their name written? I've been yapping a lot. We have one more person. I think my opinions come from a place of like respecting art, but then also um, what you say or how you say. I just want people to get the best possible product, right? Because like art is a product to a degree. It's expression, but then also commoditized. Like I want somebody... Like, obviously, I'm charging a premium for my artwork, which is a valid price. I charge $25 per hour of labor because it's, like, me doing it. But then... Oh, Brian, you got to use your channel points bottom right. But since this is your first stream, you know what? I'll give it to you for free because I don't think you have enough channel points. <laughs> but save for next time, okay? 
No, they weren't exactly. Like, if somebody is going to spend, like, a hundred plus dollars on a painting, I want them to, like, have a painting. Like, I remember I was just browsing Instagram one day, and there was this one really cool artist. I don't follow them or anything. It just came up in my recommended feed. But they were selling, like, prints of their artwork. Like, digital computer prints. So, like, a, I think the piece I saw was, like, a... Like a four by six stretched canvas, $200. Like obviously the original painting is probably worth 2000, but $200 for a print. I've looked at cost to print prints like that. Maximum $50. Maximum $50 for a print that big. So like, I understand that, like, people need to get a bag, but it's like, bro, I ain't paying 200 fucking dollars for a print. Oh, wait, you said write your name in rainbow. I blanked, I blanked. I'll fix it. They changed the commodity of having to print it. I understand the argument of I want to make my work more accessible so more people can have it. Like, I don't want collectors to have the only pieces of art I make. But, like, it, for me, it feels icky. It feels icky. I think one of my favorite mentalities towards it is that whenever you make art, if you're a creative yourself or if you don't create, the way I see art is no matter what you do, it's an extension of yourself. When you are making art for somebody, you're literally giving a piece of your time, a piece of your life, to make said thing for the person. I should tune in more often. It's kind of nice to chat. Oh, you're so sweet. But thank you, Brian. Do you want us to call you Brian or... Whatever you prefer. That's why, like, I like the calligraphy part of stream. Because it's, like, a good wind down. No, I'm not as, like, extra. Just Brian? Okay, boss. Also, Brian, if you don't mind me asking, how did you find the channel? Did you find it from TikTok or Instagram? Or just browsing? Yeah, I, I know, like, I definitely ham it up for stream. Like, I'll, I'll like, goof and gap. But calligraphy is nice, because then I just, like, I'm normal. Do you have preferred materials for paintings? I've only been painting for, like, a year and a half. I use interior house paint. That is why um, the colors are really opaque and clear. Acrylic is fun. I do want to mess around with new materials, but I don't... I don't have the cheddar yet because basically how it works is whenever I make a sale, I will buy more supplies. I've sold three paintings in the past year. So W. So that means I've only been able to buy like $200 of supplies in the past year. So whenever I have more sales then I can buy more materials and then I can experiment more and then I can make more different things and then I can just pop off. On TikTok, I looked up what a gamer term meant, and then your video popped up. Wait, that's insane! I've never heard of that! Wait, what were you looking up? That's so funny. Wait, was it Baxi Gaming? My ba whenever The videos that I talk about Baxi Gaming always do well. You know, I, I get so many shitters in my YouTube comments. They're like, oh, they're just trying to help you. It was that one? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Well, I'm glad you came over. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god. $200 of material sounds like a lot until you actually see the haul. No, for real. I bought watercolor paper. $30. Paint? One tub of paint that I buy, $7. Not too bad. Canvases, you have to buy a minimum amount, 
forty dollars. So what needs to happen is that we need to pop off, sell a million paintings. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> I copied it. No, I... Okay, the story behind the dancing bit. It was last December. And I did this, like, on stream one time as a joke. So I was talking to my friend about life. And... They were talking about family drama during Christmas break. So they would be like, oh, I got something nice for Christmas. And I'd be like, yay! And then they'd be like, but my mom got mad. And then i stopped dancing. And then they'd say something nice. And then I would dance again. So, like, that's how I, I got that bit. It's the selling stuff dance. Don't worry, we'll do a subathon. Okay, I'm taking really long on the calligraphy, but that's because, like, we're yip-yapping. Okay, two with your name is kind of hard, because it has so many capitals. Wait, is this Pokemon music? I hate Pokemon. Okay, we have one name left. I'll do Indigo for Brian. Brian, this is your one-time free trial. Watch more streams and then use your channel points next time. I also have zero because I messed up. Wait, did you put believe or, or doubt on the prediction? Be honest. watch more or just gamble for real you know what gambling is bad unless it's in the twitch chat no did you guys know the ch twitch channel points are banned in some countries that ban gambling not i believed w imagine doubting in the peace and chat It's so pretty. The tombos are so nice. Okay, guys. Let's wrap it up for real this time. Well. Well. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching in each other's lurkers. Thank you to the followers we got today. We had Tooth, Jellyfish, and I'm Triant. Thank you for following. I appreciate you all. Plus three. We never get followers during a stream. Thank you for following. Also, once again, thank you to Alex for the seven-month resub. Thank you. I appreciate your continued support. The plan is simple. Tomorrow, streaming probably the same time, like between 10 and 11. More chess, more learning, more gaming. Friday, facing every single YouTuber in chess. And then finally, the finale of Chess Week. Facing my biggest enemy in chess. Guys. Good stream today. Today was actually really fucking fun. <laughs> also, shoutouts to people who, like, watch the live and chat. You guys are the goat. Okay. I don't think anybody's live. Nobody's live. So, if you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video. How I got my first ever Fall Guys crown. Click the link and watch it now if you want something to watch. And make sure, if you haven't, subscribe to my YouTube channels, main channel for weekly stream highlights, and the Clips channel for daily clips from stream. Go subscribe now. Thank you, Tooth. It was fun chatting. I hope to see you again. Okay, anything else? I think that's all. I will see you all when I see you. Tomorrow, like, 10 or 11 a.m. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Brian. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad you're able to catch a stream. Man, it's so hot in my room. It's 80 degrees. I am boiling.
Okay, outro song. VOD watchers, you won't hear this. Do you guys have any last words? I really do hope I split my audio correctly, though. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Seriously, I know I took a three-day break, but you know what? I'm back. Guys, vote peace in for Hidden Gem Stream of the Year. Okay, bye guys.